Hey, everybody. Oop, camera's high. Let's bring that down a little bit. Here I am for more Arceus, but we're gonna warm up with some Mario Kart, as has been the case lately. You know, it's good to have a little warm up game. Just got back from seeing the new Doctor Strange movie, and it was awesome. I don't want to get into spoilers, which means that unfortunately I can't really talk about it at all, no matter how much I want to gush about it, but uh. <coughs> Yeah, uh, my fears were assuaged, which was that um, even though it was Sam Raimi that they'd like really rein him in and not let him do anything fun, but nah, all the great Sam Raimi stuff is in there, all those kind of cheesy transitions and montages, it's it's wonderful. I, I really enjoy it. Uh, effects could have been better, but you know, whatever. I was I was really happy with it, so. I hope anyone else out there who is a fan of Sam Raimi will enjoy it. And I'm real curious to see the half in the bag on it because, yeah, they were talking about that on their Darkman, um, their Darkman review of like, is this gonna, is this gonna be like something, you know, more interesting or is he just gonna phone it in because it's, you know, Disney and they won't let him do anything fun. But everything I've heard is that they were super, super uh, chill about it, let him do what he wanted, and it really shows. So, would certainly recommend it. Um, I'll do my full review next week. Uh, but yeah, I've been meaning to get onto my reviews. I'm not really that behind. I've only got like three, which is pretty reasonable, but yeah, I'm gonna get that done next week because I'm trying to release something at least every couple weeks. I'm also trying to put a little more effort in. My big project right now is gonna take a long time. So, you know, get stoked on that, but also you know, keep it at a level as if it wasn't gonna happen for a while. It's, it's, it's gonna be a while. I'm sorry, there's just not really any way around that, you know, with the, the concept that I have. It's, it's gonna be a bit. Uh, whoops. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's keep, keep moving at least. Uh, oh, this is only, only three. Or only two. This is a surprisingly large track. I did not... I didn't realize because I haven't really played a ton of tour. I played a bit when it came out and I was like, yeah, it's fine. But it didn't really blow me away. Uh, the big problem I was having was that it was, like, really easy. And I don't know if that's just how the matchmaking was working at the time. But yeah, I never felt any kind of challenge from my, uh, from the other people in the race, so... Who knows? Maybe, maybe it has changed right now. It probably has. But, it's okay. I just like Mario Kart in general. It's fun. It controls real good. That's pretty much always going to be my main, the main thing that matters most to me in any video game is how does it control? Because, you know, narrative can be great, you know, writing is certainly important. Um, but first and foremost, the thing that's going to make me like or dislike a game, how them controls. Mario Kart's pretty good. Then after that, it's usually like, are they actually coming up with interesting ideas in terms of like mechanics and stuff? You know, that was the thing. I loved It Takes Two because it had so many interesting new mechanics, even with the constant core mechanic of the two players, you know, having to do stuff. But then each player would have a different mechanic that they'd be working with um, in each section, and that was super clever. It sucks that the story was really underwhelming, though. Like, it's a fine idea, I guess, but all it boiled down to was, like, the most, like, cheesy sitcom, like, you don't do the dishes. Oh, I wish you would loosen up a bit, lady. And it's like, okay. And then their eventual realization was like, wow, we were so much happier before we had a child. And what's going to help us grow closer? A vacation without our child. It's like, hmm. Sounds like you guys maybe shouldn't have been parents then. Because genuinely, 
the kid is barely even like involved for the most part. Like all she is is a catalyst. And she doesn't end up actually getting to do much in terms of the character growth other than be a nuisance and that's yeah, that's not the best way to have handled it, I don't think. I'm in a purple. Ooh, yeah. Here we go. Blow up the shell. Hold the other shell. Keep those drifts tight. I'm hoping I can just get, uh, get the three star on this one. Ah, no, no, no. No! No, no, no. Oh no, he had a banana! Nah. Ah, dip, 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 dip. Oh well. Let's give it another shot. Ah. Feeling a little dehydrated. Anytime I go out for the day, you know, I end up not drinking as much water because it's not readily available. But I'm doing okay. I got I got a drink at the movie. You know, a lot of sugar, a lot more than I usually do. I got like the Minute Maid Agua Frescas. I think it's called. It was like a lime one. It was okay. It just kind of tasted like watered down, um, like limeade. It. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Which, yeah, it was all right. The thing I like to get most is just like a peace tea fizz with uh, the Caddyshack version. It's just an Arnold Palmer, you know, but it's got just a little bit of fizz. I'm like back and forth. I don't know. I'm always like, anytime I have a seltzer water, my brain is always like, eh, the fizz is nice, but... It'd be nicer if this had like a little bit of flavor. Like what I want is not just like, I don't want a diet soda. I don't want like a full on unsweetened um, seltzer. What I want is like a half sweet soda. Like a soda with half of the sugar, half of the flavor, or even not half, like two thirds, you know? so that I can enjoy it, but I'm not just like bombed out with sugar. That's what I really loved about Bolt 24, which is just like, I guess discontinued now, which is so sad for me, because I was, I had it all the time, and it was, um, it was basically just salted watermelon juice, and it was like way less sugar than Gatorade, but it had all the electrolytes and stuff. I loved that stuff. I hope it comes back. I hope it's just a temporary thing, or looks like they might have rebranded as uh, something else. I don't know. I, uh, it's made me really sad, man. I love that stuff. And I just, I don't get why. It seemed like it was doing all right. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, hello. Sorry, I was really focused on the race and ranting about discontinued sports drinks. Hello, Manny. GD8, Manny GD, I think. It's hard to tell from this distance. Crunchy ice filled to brim and add soda little by little. That's no, I don't want watered down soda though. Is the thing I want it to be a full drink, and I just want their, them to put less sugar in it. I don't want, I don't want to water it down. I don't want to do the whatever, whatever peanut thing that they do in Texas or whatever. I, I don't understand it. But yeah, I appreciate it. I just, I don't know. My thing back when I, uh, back when I worked at a movie theater, we had soda water on tap, right? So just plain bubbly water. Manny is fine? Okay, cool. I will keep that in mind. Um, so it'd just be like soda water. And... I would mix it basically with unsweetened tea and lemonade because the lemonade was sweet enough so that I could have a fizzy, less sweet Arnold Palmer. And it was pretty delicious. And yeah, the like peach, peace tea fizz 
is is pretty close to that. Still a lot of sugar though. Try not to do too much. Coke Zero. I used to drink Coke Zero back in like high school, because in terms of the like the um diet versions, that's the one that tastes the best. But I don't know. I I feel I feel iffy about NutraSweets. I've heard too much stuff about them like. Effectively, your body processing them the same as sugar, but then because there's no actual sugar to burn, then it's it can overwork your pancreas and give you the diabetes. But did they change up Coke Zero? I haven't, I haven't had it in forever. I don't know. It's, it's uh, yeah. I think it's also that the alternatives are never the th ones that I think taste the best, right? Like. A big thing is Stevia. People love Stevia or Splenda, and I think both of those are not very, not very good. I'm not a fan of the flavor of either. Um, or, ah, dip, right at the end. Ooh, lemonade and Topo Chico. That sounds good. I will try that out. That's cool. Ah, I meant to quit. Um, yeah, I'll give it a shot. I, I do like trying new things at least, if, if at least once. Tried that, uh, we tried that flaming Hot Mountain Dew yesterday. Uh, kind of disappointing in that it wasn't, like, spicy at all. There was, like, that tiny edge of, like, spicy flavor, but not, like, heat. Um, but yeah, mostly just tasted like Mountain Dew. So, whatever. It was alright. Um... The big thing that's frustrating me lately is I can't do regular yogurt anymore because it, it hurts my tummy. Um, so I've been getting non-dairy yogurts and they've way improved. When I was like a kid, because my grandma's vegan, so I'd get to try all of the different non-dairy meat-free stuff. Um, it was like, yeah, non-dairy yogurts were like a weird, like gross flan, basically. I wasn't, I was not a fan. Um, but now they're pretty good. They they, they actually do taste like yogurt. Um, they like have the right texture and everything. But the thing is, I've tried a few of them and the ones that I like the most are just the straight up soy yogurt. Like it's, it's creamy, it's got a heft to it. It makes me feel good, feels, it's substantial. But there's only like three flavors of that and it's like, oh, oh, the only one that sounds decent to me is strawberry. <sighs> Meanwhile, there's like 30 flavors in the same brand of the coconut milk variety. And it's like, I can, I'm fine with the coconut milk, I guess, but it's just, it's just not as good, you know? Like, it, it just feels like a compromise because it's just, it's thin. Coconut milk just, that's my thing. It's always like people like almond milk and coconut milk, and I'm just like, those are. It's, the reason you have milk is for the fat, right? So why would I want these less fatty alternatives? Like I want, I want soy. I want cashew. You know, it's like people who drink milk and then they they just drink skim milk, which is zero fat. And it's like that's what's even the point? You're just drinking sweet water at that point ridiculous to me. I don't know. If, you, if you're not going to have any fat, then you may as well just not bother, because you may as well just do, like, orange juice or whatever nasty stuff they do on the Tic Tac. Something. I don't know. Sometimes there's interesting food stuff on Tic Tac, but I, I find that most of the interesting Tic Tac food stuff is clearly from people who are, A, either sharing their, their home recipes from a different culture, or it's just people who actually know how to cook. Too often, I see people who clearly don't know what they're doing cobbling some stuff together from like dorm room level foods and it's like, oh. Yeah, I generally just go for water first and foremost in most cases, but you know, I just like a, a straight up just plain soy milk. Whatever, man. It's got the fat, that's what I'm here for. Cashew is the best, but it's always super expensive. It's got a little too much of its own flavor. 
like there's the big thing of doing like oh the the monk fruit uh pulled pork and it's like well it's the right texture but monk fruit doesn't taste it, it tastes too much like fruit it doesn't you know it's not neutral enough the way like soy is Speaking of which, I've had a couple of blocks of tofu for a while that I've been meaning to make uh, Mabo tofu out of, but I haven't had the opportunity. It's always, I'm just so busy, I'm streaming, I'm working on a big old video. And then I got my actual, like, day job of voiceover to deal with. Yeah, oat milk. If I go to, if I go out to get coffee, oat milk is usually the one I go with. Um, you know, it is fairly thin, but, um, oats do definitely, they, like, they, they have, like, a creamier feel to them, you know? So, I, I think that one works pretty well. I wouldn't do something like almond or coconut milk and coffee, because it just wouldn't cut through. Again, like, the reason you put it in there is for the fat, so you need something, something fatty to cut through the, uh, the, uh, bitterness of the coffee. I know, again, oat milk is usually... I, the other reason I usually go soy is just because it'll be the cheapest version. Because even... They'll even have, like, a store brand of the soy, usually. So, that tends to be the best option. But who knows? If I could find, like, an oat milk yogurt, I think that'd be good. That'd be, like, almost like an oat milk. Oatmeal. But at the same time, I could just make oatmeal. That's what I wanted. I only eat the yogurt still because it's got the live, the live cultures, the probiotic stuff. I'm trying to trying to fix my gut biome. I got messed up because my doctor prescribed like some hardcore like allergy meds that really messed up my digestion. Uh, 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 uh. I saw Wendy O right behind me. I saw her right on my tail. I see, I see you back there. Um. So yeah, I'm finally starting to like feel better, but it's I'm having to be very delicate with my digestion, which I never had to do before. I used to be like a trash compactor for, for, for food. Like I could, or like a garbage disposal. I could eat whatever and not even have to worry about it. But now it's like, no, it's too spicy. I can still do cheese at least, at least a little bit, not too much. Hurt my thumb. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I'm a appreciate how many options I do have down here still, because, like, this is certainly not an area I'd expect to find a ton of options, but thankfully. Thankfully. The world has moved to a point where we recognize that there's a ton of reasons you might not want to drink regular milk. Or you might not want to eat meat that aren't just hippy dippy stuff, you know? Food is food. I think that's the big thing um, with like a lot of Asian cuisine is tofu is not treated like an alternative for meat like a lot of people treat it. It's treated as a like another option you know like another meat basically and I'm into that though tofu is really hard to get right kimchi is good too yeah I like kimchi a lot um, yeah I probably should do kimchi anymore it's like a lot of applications for it so yeah, it's also like, as it is with my digestion right now, I like have the least appetite in the morning, so, um, so like yogurt is good to at least eat something, so that I can keep going with my day. Ooh yeah, miso is very good. Ooh miso for breakfast would be delicious. Miso with like some some egg on rice, that'd be a great breakfast. Yeah, I want to do more egg because I've started working out again. And um, there we go, saved. I 
I want I want to do more protein because I've been working out more. Which I have like, you know, protein shake and everything, but the more you can get in your actual diet, the better. Um Oh, coconut mall. I love coconut mall. Are we able to do this? I think I might have messed up and I only got second on one of these tracks. I don't remember. That was a long time ago. Coconut Mall uh, is obviously best known for its theme. It's like one of the best Mario Kart tracks, music tracks ever. Oh, there's, okay. There's like a way to get into the food court up here that I saw somebody do. Yeah, yeah, I haven't tried this before. I saw some uh, an, uh, a computer player do this last time I was playing. There's another way down. God, stop! I hate the bananas, man. Here we go. Keep moving. Keep moving. Yeah, my main thing lately is I'm just trying to buy, like, higher quality food. I used to buy, like, those, like, real cheap Land of Frost, like, belly slices. And we'd never get through them in a decent amount of time, and they get all kind of grody. And just, like, yeah, they, they weren't super pleasant, and they were real thin cut and everything, so... Now I've been going to, like you know, the actual Publix Deli and getting, like, real stuff. And it's a little pricier, but it's, like, tastes way better. Because it's, like, it's already not great for you because it's a ton of, like, salt. So you may as well do one that tastes better. Uh, <laughs> Gotta get ahead of Wendy. Oh! What, uh, what musician, because I know all the Koopalings are, like, themed off of musicians. What musician is Wendy O supposed to be? Nope, 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 don't do it. No, Peach! Peach! Ah, no! I was so close! Maybe I can get a boost right at the last minute. Nope, no, nope, I ruined it. Dip! So close, so close. Man! Ah! That seems to be the case with this one, is that Coconut Mall is where everything falls apart. It's the last track, so it's like, ugh. I don't know, maybe if I pay closer attention. Oh yeah, I forgot to take. I gotta take my vitamin D supplement. Yup, 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 yup. Ah, give it another shot. I think I'll get it this time. Yeah, I think it's mainly like some of these races, the items don't matter as much because there's a lot of like width to the track. But something like Coconut Mall, there's like so many curves and things where if there's a banana in the way, you're just kind of borked. Genuinely, like. This game, in in general, this game, like, if it weren't for the items, I feel like I'd be incredible at this. But the items add just enough randomness that it makes it kind of difficult to guarantee a win as often as I'd like. Whoop. We're going... Yeah, I'm not as worried. The Paris one is pretty easy. 
for the most part. It feels like there have been a, a lot more bananas lately, too. That might have been something they patched in, because there never used to be this many bananas on the board um, when I was working through these before. Yeah, coins. I've been getting a lot of bananas. Oh, come on! It's the worst when you're not even in first and the blue shell hits you. Um, yeah, it's like coins, bananas more lately, or green shells. Rarely, rarely red shells. If you're really lucky, you'll get the boom box. I can keep you protected from the uh, the blue shell, but you know, real stingy with that one. Right down to track, right there. Do -do -do -do. And zip around. Oh, is there a shortcut over there? Can't really tell. Yeah, green shells are. I don't know. I feel like green shells, if you can use them effectively, can actually be pretty sweet. Like, it's difficult, but if you're able to snipe somebody with one of those, it's the best feeling. To just get them right, right in the back, or even off a ricochet. That feels amazing. Uh, I should sit up straight. At, whoop, sorry, bumped the mic. I always forget to sit up straight and then my back gets all out of whack. All right. Although, thankfully, I was having back problems too because of, I was like sick for like a week, just bedridden, and it just like completely, wrecked my back because I wasn't used to spending that time much time prone a and B um, you know uh, I didn't have a good like mattress I had like a fold out thing from Ikea and yeah it just really messed up my back and my neck especially so ended up going to see a massage therapist got all got all that dealt with got a real bed finally first time as an adult at the age of 30 getting a, a real bed finally you know no frame but it, it's at least a real mattress and then um better pillow and I'm like actually getting to the gym and getting exercise again so strengthening my back up so that it can actually support itself. And... Yeah, yeah, all that stuff, stretching. It's important. So I'm, I've been doing quite a bit better with all of that, thankfully. Now, now I can, finally I've caught up on some things. So that one video that was like, uh, started working on it, I think end of last year. And I finally got around to finishing the storyboards on it, which was great. Ooh, 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 Mel Mario, right, right, right there. Finally finished storyboarding it. So we're gonna continue on to, to filming and animation and all that. And, uh, yeah, streaming more. Streaming more. I mean, I did that huge marathon. Was that, jeez, was that only last weekend? Yeah, that was last weekend. 12 and a half hour stream. It was, it was wild, but, you know, it was worth it, man. Donated my hair at the end and everything. Now I'm just doing stuff. On Smash? 
Uh, I liked Inkling a lot. I don't play a ton of Smash just because I'm pretty trash at fighting games. I have it, so I probably could play it more. You know, maybe that should be my next thing. Because I'm, I'm almost... Well, I still gotta do the 200 CCs, but... You know, I could start cranking my way through some Smash stuff. Learn to get pretty decent at it. Um, but yeah, Inkling. For a while, when Banjo-Kazooie came out, I uh, played them a lot. Um, hmm. I don't know. I try a bunch of different ones for the most part, but yeah, I think Inkling was the one that really spooked me for a while. I haven't tried most of the DLC ones, though. To be fair, I hear that uh, Hero is supposed to be really interesting. The way they handle Terry. Super inter interesting. Something. I don't know. Uh, da -da. No! No! Um. Yeah. A lot of options on there. It's like, what, over a hundred fighters now? No. That can't. That, that sounds like too many. It's a lot, though, right? I don't know. I, I've just been never been good at fighting games. My eyes don't move fast enough. I don't have the reflexes. Like, I can't pick out the little specific frames that you need to to pull off some of the uh, the different strategies. Cause it's like, I get the idea. I, I, I understand that in reality it is basically just like really fast paced strategy. Um, and I can appreciate that for sure. I just, it's not something my brain is equipped for. SNK. Yeah. Yeah, I just need to learn Smash in general. I have a few friends who are, like, really into it, so I feel like I could probably ask one of them to, like, uh, play against me for some streams or something. Then I can, I can stream it with viewers and get my, my ass handed to me over and over again because I'm terrible at Smash. Whoa! Whoa! Ah, the Piantas. I hope we go back to Isle Delfino someday. I don't know. The closest we got, we got the, the remaster with the, um, Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Ah! Uh, no, 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 no. Thank you. So that's, that's something, I guess. What I'd like is a remake of Sunshine where they fix the physics more than anything. Cause like, the physics were impressive for the time and it looks really cool, but like, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there where they expect you to do things in the, their physics engine that just doesn't work. Like the, the Chucksters are a nightmare, as everybody knows, because they're just too, too, uh, there's too much leeway with where they can end up throwing you. So, you know, that or the, the Pachinko. I guess the Pachinko is optional at least, so, you know, but that's, that one is absolutely absurd. I'm just gonna throw that back and have a shield of green shells. Here we go. Whoa, okay, that worked, I guess. Gotta be careful, because I see Ludwig right on my tail. Gotta create some distance. It's okay, it's okay, I got the green shell shield. Ooh. And there we go. Finally. Oh, Coconut Mall. 
Such a pain. Great soundtrack, though. All right, toss a stream marker. Super Dash Mushroom Cup, get. Let's go. Let's went. We have. Sweet. So yeah, that means looks like I got some time uh, for the warm up still, where I can work on. Do I want to swing back? Or do I want to work on the other DLC cup? Because I still need to get the bell cup. Uh, Super Bell Subway, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm coming off a win. I think, I think I've got the flow going. Let's try out the Super Bell Subway. In fact, let me, uh, Crank my camera down a notch. There we go. Yeah, it's it, the rest of them I can do pretty decent at, but it's the Super Bell Subway that really gives me trouble because of those dang subway cars. I still have the Coconut Mall music stuck in my head. So good. Such a good track. This is a very short track, even. That's the big thing here, is like, it's really technical, but it's real short, so... As long as you can get a decent enough lead, you're usually through everything before anybody can do anything about it. I'll leave, I'll leave Ludwig for now, because he's not too far. Yeah, yeah, I got a little boost over him. He wasn't too far ahead. He could have soaked up a blue shell, but it's fine. Looks like I'm getting a decent lead. My strategy is always is to just have a build with a crazy high top speed. Get out of here, Lemmy. Get out of here. So, as long as I can luck out and not get hit by anything, or slow down for whatever reason, I can manage, manage to win. I don't know. I, I could also go for something more balanced, but then I always feel like I'm really struggling at the top ranks when I try and favor, um, acceleration, you know? Whoop. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna keep going with the top speed strat. It's n it's a very offensive move. Like, you're basically, you have no defense, if you get knocked down and you don't have a huge lead already, then you're you're done for. But as long as you can maintain a decent lead, yeah, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it because it effectively means that yeah, if you get hit by a shell, if you hit a banana, if you hit a wall, usually if you only hit one, you can recover. And if you've had enough time to like get a decent gap between you and whoever's in second. But especially in some of these later cups when they're really aggressive. I can ah dip. Too early, too early. It's uh it's kind of a toss-up. Especially depending on the track, right? Like on this one, there's lots of room to maneuver and stuff so that you can dodge a little bit better. But then something like Super Bell Subway, where you're going to hit the subway cars pretty often. That is, that one is incredibly difficult with this strategy. Because if you hit, if you even barely graze the subway car, it stops you dead. And what can you do, you know? Ooh, oh, okay, I got one, I got one. Uh-oh, uh-oh, ooh! 
Almost dipped a little too low. I see what I mean. Everybody's super aggressive with the items. Yeah, I just, I feel like if I have the acceleration, it's like I can usually get a, a lead sometimes, but maintaining it long enough to win, like it always feels like it's just neck and neck by the end of the race in a really uncomfortable way. Ooh, oh, you know I'm gonna save this red shell for when he's in the air. It's cruel, but it works. Ah, <laughs> let me get lackitude. Ah, oh, what? How did he recover? Ah, I don't know. Ah, ah. Sometimes I'm able to like lose the red shells if I'm going fast enough. I don't know. It's not always super consistent. Maybe I'm just, like, not noticing that it hits somebody behind me when that happens. Yeah, this one can give me some trouble, but it's really, it's the Super Bell subway that I get the most issues with on this particular cup. The big went right off the side. Sucks to be him. I'm always surprised. Sometimes something will be like clearly lifting you and it won't let you do the, the jump. But then other times it looks like it should not be lifting you enough to do a jump, but you still get it. It's we weird conveyance. I don't know if I'd necessarily even call it bad. It's just kind of inconsistent, which is not great. Consistency is important in game design. Speaking of which, I finally got, I've read it before in digital form, I got uh, Characteristics of Games, which is, it's a textbook, effectively, um, by George Scephalias and someone else I don't remember, and Richard Garfield, who designed Magic the Gathering and a lot of other great games like Bunny Kingdom. Um, but yeah, it's just basically uh, a text trying to categorize games to try and... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Dip. Yep, see, already having trouble. Because, like, there's so much language with games that is not standardized in any kind of way. So that's what it tries to do. It just tries to, like, analyze games and, like, break down, you know, all the different categories of game and different... Uh, you know, different characteristics of those categories where it's like, well, if you have like three player, like if you have one player, it doesn't really come into play. You know, two players, that's very competitive. But then three players, three player, player competitive game that is a brawl, which is to say everybody plays against each other. Like, you know, if you play Yahtzee, it's like, yeah, you can technically try and, like, specifically get something better than someone, but you're just playing next to each other and comparing scores. So that's a race. That's just seeing who gets the highest score first. But, excuse me, um, but if you have three or more players in a brawl where you're actively, like, able to, like, mess with each other, then you end up with politics, which in that case basically means that no matter what you do, um, the players' like personal drama, personal like hangups among each other are going to come up in the game. Like that is an unavoidable fact of a game like that. Like, gen because generally there's going to be a point somewhere where you have to act quote unquote randomly or you have to attack someone, right? So, oh my god, uh, I'm doing terrible. See what I mean? Superbell Subway, it's a nightmare. There's just so many weird curves. Can't drift anywhere, nothing. Um, and so like that is really important to understand that like no matter what you do, uh, the players are gonna bring their own stuff to the game and it will affect how your game's design works. And that's just one thing within it. Who's the third person? K. Robert Guccera. 
Yeah. Ooh, forward by Eric Zimmerman. I haven't actually gone through this yet. Ugh. That's the thing is I read the digital version, but it didn't have like the footnotes and indices and stuff. I think this is a newer edition too. Mm, no, looks like it's the same edition. It's just in paperback. But I've been meaning to get that for years and years. Years and years and years because I, I the digital version just didn't have a ton of the stuff. It was some kind of weird abridged version. So yeah, finally got a copy of that. And I'm gonna crack through that and... I wanna start designing my own games. At least tabletop. You know, it's... It takes time and it's difficult, but I have some ideas and I think there there's some interesting concepts in there. Um, something I'd recommend if you're interested in designing games is to read Cole Worley's Design Diaries, which are available on Board Game Geek for pretty much most of the games that he's done. Because it's his take on design games is super fascinating, and he's able to really delve deep into just like why things don't work. Like the game he's working on right now, it's going to Kickstarter in uh, like a few weeks. It's the 24th. Um, the game is called Arcs. ARCS and he talks about how it's really difficult to do sci-fi stories especially like big political space opera type stories in tabletop because the 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 big thing with those is like big turnabouts you know like situations where something suddenly changes and everything's upset um because to do that in a tabletop game, you'd have to change the rules in some way. But the problem with that is that uh, if you want that to remain, you want that to be immersive, you kind of have to hit a flow state where people are just playing the game. They're not thinking about the rules and whether or not they're messing them up. They've kind of become more immersed in the game. So how do you create these big turnabouts without adding rules that make everybody scramble and break their immersion? And his idea is trick-taking, both, both trick-taking and the concept of uh, basically like between sessions. So the game is a campaign game that you play over three rounds, basically, and between rounds stuff happens and you can like upgrade yourself. And it's just, yeah, it's really interesting how, how he's looking to handle that. So I'm I'm very stoked on that game. I mean, I love all of his games. You can see, I mean, it's hard to see in the, the tiny camera, but you can see over my shoulders where I'm sitting on the camera. I actually have all of the leader games I could get so far. Um, and I have all of the ones designed by him. Uh, I'm still waiting on Root the Marauders expansion, although I'm pretty sure Patrick Leader mostly worked on the, uh, on that. Well, I guess the hirelings were Cole. I'm not sure. Uh, still haven't gotten that. I did kickstart it, but, you know, it's still shipping out. And then Arcs is not going to ship for a while. I have Oath. I don't have, uh, the Crystal Cavern. Oh, sweet. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for tuning in as well. Hope to see you next time. I stream on Mondays, Fridays, and Saturdays. So check it out whenever. I try and keep the schedule updated, so check that out. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. Have a good one. Have a good rest of your weekend. And every time I see GBA in the corner. Ah, dip. I was supposed to quit out of this one again because I failed on that first one. Thanks. I will have... As good a stream as I can. I think I'm going to do one more run of this cup and then get into the main game for the stream. Yeah, let's see how it goes.
Yeah, I'm feeling like yesterday I felt so sluggish on stream. Frankly, I think it's caffeine. I, I didn't do caffeine for a bit because, you know, I was trying to be very delicate with my digestion, as I was saying. Um, yeah, today I had had some some uh, tea, some black tea, so it had uh, caffeine and it had sugar, so I'm just got a bunch more energy than I normally would have on a, on a stream, so yeah, maybe I should just start doing a little bit of the GG Sups probably doesn't have a ton of caffeine. It's very tasty. Not sponsor or anything, although GG Sups. If you if you see this, if you're watching, hit me up. I'll I'll absolutely take a sponsorship. I got they're not on display right now because my camera it, they're not in frame on my camera. But I got four of their waifu cups, mostly the silly ones. But yeah, they keep. <laughs> they keep doing deals where it's like if you get one for free and I'm like, well, well, it's like you get one for free if you buy something. And I'm like, well, I'll buy another cup and get a cup for free. Yeah, there's a few like I'd love to have the whole set or something, but, you know, I'm happy with the ones I got. They're really good shaker cups, too. Like my problem, ugh, my problem with most of the shaker cups I've had is that they the mechanism ends up not breaking up a lot of the, the clumps in uh, the protein powder that I mostly use them for. And so I end up with just kind of chunks. And that's not pleasant. But with these, instead of having, instead of having like a wire ball or like a plastic ball, whatever, instead it has like a little, um, little thing in the top, like right under the lid that comes out and it's like a, it's like a bunch of fins. It's like a fan kind of, but it's uh, solid. It's doesn't move around or anything. And it just, yeah, you basically just, ah, uh, dip. All the stuff just goes up through that as you shake it and it just breaks it up perfect. It's pretty solid. I don't think I'd ever want to go back to the other shaker cups after using it, honestly. And their product is fine. Yeah. I don't, I haven't really had Game Fuel or anything to compare it. I did remember I had um or well it's G Fuel. I remember I did have Game Fuel to like Mountain Dew drink, and I liked that because it wasn't like I was saying earlier. It was kind of like soda, but it wasn't as sugary. And it had that cool lid that you could like reseal. But I stopped doing it for a while, and then yeah, they they got rid of it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying not to do a ton of super artificial foods and drinks anymore, you know? Stuff with all the sugar and stuff. That's, that's a young man's game. I'm getting old. I mean, okay, I'm only 30, but... There's so much, uh, so much stuff out there that's just not great for you. I'm so... I don't know, I just end up getting paranoid about it. Most of it's probably not going to matter that much, but... When I was, like, a kid, I would drink, like, a soda a day. Or multiple sodas per day. Like, just, even a, just a can, but it was, like, so much. And, like, yeah... As soon as I stopped doing that, I had no trouble, like, maintaining a weight, you know? I'm still not, like, in, like, I'm not, like, super studly or anything, but I, uh, I, I haven't gained weight, basically, aside from, like, muscle. Lost some weight being sick, but I'm gaining that back. Eating a lot more, working out a lot, you know. I have not gone underweight at least, so that's the, that's my main thing. But that's like with the uh, the BMI, and the BMI is like 
it, it doesn't account for anything except like literal weight. So you could be super jacked and it would consider you overweight because the poundage is all that it talks about. Or you could be like super malnourished, but it's like, well, you're technically a healthy weight. It's like, hmm, I don't know about that. I think uh, it's frustrating because we have such a like, a hatred of fat in this, like, in American society that we just assume that like, loss of fat is automatically a good thing. Loss of fat, loss of weight, you are lighter, you are healthier, but it's like, that's not at all true. One of the, the, one of the biggest signs that something might be wrong with you, that you might be sick is loss of weight. But no, even doctors will be like, hey, you lost weight, you look good. It's like, no, no, I don't. I'm unhealthy. But whatever. I'll do it all right. I hope y'all are too. Uh, I am going to now take a break and switch over to Arceus. So don't go anywhere. Don't touch that internet dial. I'll be right back with our main game, Pokemon Legends Arceus, in just a minute. Okay.
Hey, we are back. Pokemon Legends Arceus. Chilling down a little more. We're actually going to turn this down a little bit. Because it can get a little loud. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a, a more chill time. Then, yeah, we're going to get into some story stuff this time around. So what is our current story mission? Arezu's Predicament. There's someone else we gotta find out there. Yeah, let's uh let's do that one first and then get into it. Uh the Meyerlands camp, I guess. Right? That makes more sense. If that's where she's expected to have gone. Ursa, Ursa. So we just how's this work? So we're headed no. It's on the other side. So let's around that way. Okay. Over here. Can I, can I climb, please? Please. Please, Ursa, can you climb for me? No. Turn around. Ah, I'm gonna have to bust through, huh? It. Why? Hey. B. X. No. Why not? I thought he could bust through. Is that one of his things? No. I thought it was one of his things that he could bust through. Ah, eh, whatever. We can find our way over. We can Bethesda this. Almost. Almost. Just gotta angle yourself right. Yeah, there it is. Come on, let me up. It's frustrating that he can't actually land in most of the spots. Even though he can clearly jump higher. What? Throw Pokemon at the rocks? But they're just little guys. How's this little guy gonna do better than a bear? That's silly. Yeah, right? They give you a deer, which are known for climbing up cliffs, so why would you not use the deer to climb up the cliffs? Seems obvious. Whoops. Where are you sniffing? Where's she at? Whoa, 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 I know Relic can evolve. I'll be a little still for a little bit. I'll make I'll evolve him by the end of this stream, maybe? I should probably do it sometime soon. Thanks a bunch, girl, but how'd you find me all the way out here? Uh, Ursa Luna found you. Tracked me all the way here by the scent of those potato mochi I ate? That Ursa Luna sure is something. I know he's a scent from one of the Pokemon that were blessed by Almighty Sinnoh, but still, wow. Hurt your leg? My luck's run out, though, as you can most likely tell. I got chased by a Pokemon and sprained my ankle pretty bad as I was running away. It's almost like the world wants to punish me. Oh, there you are. Arezu, right? Eek. But Mistress Kalaba, uh, I, I didn't... I owe you an apology. I treated you with disrespect, thinking you were just some whelp from the Diamond Clan. Sorry for that. I should treat you better. Wait, I think I got these two mixed up. 
No, Arezu's the one. Which one's Arezu? Diamond Clan or the, the southern one, so. Right, Arezu's the one that I gave the, the, huh, wait, but. It's not your fault. The little gamp became frenzy. Northern Myra Saluna was so enraged. You are trying to help them both, weren't you? I didn't even have the courtesy to listen to you. You'd think someone who'd live as long as I would have would be more patient. It's okay. I didn't do a good job explaining myself either. Ursaluna only started acting weird after he got too close to Lilligan and smelled her perfume. She was already frenzied by that point, so I'm sure that's what caused it. Ah, that explains the strange powder I found on Ursaluna. It must have been powder from Lilligan. What happened to your leg, dear? I was gathering ingredients to make balms, but I, I fell and sprained my ankle. See, the reason I went to Jubilife was to get help for Ursaluna and also learn about crafting. But while I was there, I bumped into Professor Leventon and he told me about the bombs you used to quell Cleavor. So I thought I'd make some for Lilligant using her favorite foods. You galaxy people know all sorts of things. I'd like to learn even more from you, really. Well, then we better take care of our lady and get all this mess resolved first. Adamant. Uh... Wait, am I getting these mixed up? I don't remember. What were you thinking doing this all by yourself? Did you think I couldn't help you? Though, no one would blame you for thinking so. How much of a leader am I? I've never even seen Almighty Sinnoh with my own eyes. And I failed to imagine that Lilligant might have become frenzied too. Listen up, Iggy. I'll take the bombs that Erezu made and meet you at Bravo Arena. Don't you worry, Erezu. Iggy will calm Lilligant, and that'll be that. Things should sell down. Head to Bravo Arena, Iggy. That's where Lilligant's seat lies. Arezu will be taken care of. My dear Bibarel and I will make sure she reaches her lady. Maybe, I don't, I, hold on. I can figure this out with the missions, right? Let me look. Um. Yeah. Clear, join this. You'll need to, for Leventon. I think I'm thinking of my. I can't tell, man. No. I don't know. Is she diamond? Is she pearl? Who can tell? What's the difference, really? I'm so confused. All right, now I gotta find. I gotta find Wendy. Where Wendy at? Yo, where Wendy at though? No, that's um yeah. Oh, a new request over there. Uh, yeah, I'll go see what the new request is about. Try and find Wendy on the way. Where, oh where, oh where could she be? No, I guess it's too far. Where is Wendy? Where is Wimdy? I didn't know. I didn't know. Hmm. I'm supposed to be able to smell for her, but my man don't smell nothing. Oh wait, can I? Smells something good though. Yo, what's up, Viv? Ad? What? I have ads turned off. It should not be giving me you ads. Hmm. Everything's been all right. Kind of a slow week, but still just fine. In more streaming in at least. 
rerolls are inevitable. I thought they were pretty sure I have them directly turned off. Like, they give you that option, at least. Out of my control. Hmm. Well, if they're out of my control, the only reason I turned ads off was because I thought the pre-rolls were going to deter people who didn't want to see ads. But if it's going to do pre-rolls anyways, then I may as well have ads on. I don't know. Wendy. Wendy, where are you? Where are you, Wendy? Oh, I'm going in the right direction, I guess. Where's the bridge, though? Ah, this area is so frustrating because this huge river in the way. There? No, that's pretty Getting real close, right? Is that her? No. Hmm? No, you're not her. Ah. There she is. Wow, you really just standing out here? Wanda, excuse me. Uh huh. A person! Another real live live human being. Oh thank goodness. I was on my way back to the base camp when I got attacked by some wild Pokemon. I managed to get away from them, but I got completely lost when I was running in in Please, can you tell me how to get back home? That way? I see. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's not that hard. Alright. Uh, I mean this way, right, of course. I knew you meant this direction. Wanda, you good? Return to Galaxy Hall and report to Zeke. I will, I will. Let's get back on this main quest, though. Hit that. Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't... But the show ended, like, years ago, so I don't really think anyone is still a brony. But, yeah, pretty much. I fell off of it, like, years ago. If my roommates weren't also super into it, I honestly probably wouldn't have finished the show, because it, it fell off hard after, like, season five. Well, why'd you ask if you don't even know what it is? It's just someone... It's uh, a fan of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, which is the fourth generation of the My Little Pony... Generally, adult. Just because it was a decent show. Uh, the more or less, people heard about it, and they tuned in thinking like, oh, this is going to be stupid. And then it turned out to be fine. It turned out to be all right. And they were like, whoa. And then as at, at first, at least, as an ironic thing, they were like, we're going to keep watching it because it's so ridiculous that us 4chan bros will watch it. And then, as with all things done in irony, eventually, it stopped being ironic. Um, I said that My Little Pony. It's shortened to MLP. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. It was a fun community for a while. There were a lot of really awkward people, but... I, I've made some long-lasting friends through it, which is pretty cool. You know, my the current relationship I'm in, Coco and I, we met uh, while volunteering as staff at some of the conventions. Am I a furry? Yeah, I mean by most metrics, because once again, it's such a vague metric. But yeah, I enjoy anthropomorphic animal characters, which would kind of include everybody. <laughs> Stop. Literally, since Aesop, people have done that. The ancient Egyptians liked what would be considered furry characters now. Like, it's literally most of society forever. People just started freaking out about it because they're looking for somebody to put down. But, like, most people would fall under that category. Most people. If you say you don't, then you're in denial. You ever liked 
any Disney movie that had animal characters, that's enough. That counts. Like, it's really not that weird. Yeah, obviously. Like, that's not... That, that People being like, oh, furries want to want to get intimate with the animals it's like dude that's like saying that someone who's a, a has a pet wants to get into animals like just liking animals or animal based characters does not automatically go to that level that's projecting you guys are assuming that because that's how you would probably be into it all right i think it's it's pretty ridiculous that that's the immediate assumption or Looney Tunes, or anything. Like, the vast majority of children's entertainment has anthropomorphic animal characters, and it's not considered weird because they're kids, so nobody would assume that of them. But as soon as you're an adult, it's like, ooh, that's creepy. Chill out. Chill out. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I think, personally... Horse girls are way creepier than furries. Because while it might not, while it is technically platonic, the way they treat horses, it's, it's, it's pretty extreme. Far more than most furries I've met. Yeah, most movies are story driven. What are you talking about? Pretty much every Disney movie is story-driven. Like Zootopia. <clears throat> no one can deny. Okay, human. Okay. <clears throat> Those are very different, very different words, so... Yeah, I was confused. Um, I don't know. Just like... It's pretty... Pretty common enough throughout all of like humanity and human history is only now with the internet that because people saw like one group of furries who took it too far they're just like oh that's what everybody's like and it's like that's really dumb yeah I just, yeah, my mom's a horse girl, so I'm just like, I let her have her thing or whatever, but I'm, anytime she talks about horses, I'm like, I don't, I don't think this is a very healthy, a very healthy connection. You're going a little too extreme with this. I don't know, it, it makes me think it's on par with people who are like really into astrology where it's like they're letting too much of their life be led by this one uh, hobby and it's like yeah it's cool to enjoy things and it's super cool that you found something that you can um feel so strongly about but also like it's just take a step back for a minute <laughs> Yeah, I don't have a problem with astrology even. Like, I think tarot is cool. I think the ideas of stuff are is interesting, but um, uh, Dan Avedon from Game Grumps put it pretty perfect. It's like New Age healing and astrology and all of that is great alongside with, like, you know, therapy and actual medicine and things to keep you mentally and physically well while also, you know, allowing you to enjoy some spiritual stuff. The problem happens when people try and, instead of supplementing their actual care, uh, replace their actual care with uh, that stuff. And that's just, yeah, people die believing in that, and it's unfortunate. Yeah, Evil Farter is pretty cool. I usually raid over to him. Um, I post up in his Discord a lot. Whenever I go live, I always mean to hang out in his streams more, but I just never have the time to watch other people stream. It's like, any time I would have to watch someone else stream is time that I'm 
is the time that I need to use for streaming if I ever want to stream. Because any other time I'm working on something or I'm like trying to, sp I don't know, I get like an hour to hang out and do something I actually want to do. Not that I don't enjoy like working on videos and stuff, but like I don't ever get to just sit down and do something that isn't trying to make something. Because even then, I barely get stuff made. So, like, yeah, I don't want to... I, I already have such a long backlog of games that I haven't played and books that I haven't read that it's, it's difficult. Alcohol in Germany is expensive? Is it, like, heavily taxed or is it, like, imported? I feel like I've gone stuck here. What's the map say? Where am I? Here, let's just run over here. I'm just trying to find a way out. Four hundred euros for one night of drinking? That is crazy expensive. Um, well, what am I even doing out here? Should I should uh? Supposed to get up to Brava Arena. Okay, so let's go to the Meyerlands camp. Sponsored like six people, okay. Still, yeah, that's, that's pretty pricey. D 400 or 800, that's a, a big margin of error. Is it a double? Oh, uh, where am I at now? Right, I want to get up to Brava Arena over there. Oops, no, not like that. Can I get there from over here? No, it doesn't look like it. How do we get over there? It looks like a lot of cliffs and stuff. I don't have the cliff Pokemon yet. Which I won't spoil for anybody who hasn't seen it, but I do know what it is. Drum roll, please! That's the best drum roll I can do right now. My hands are tied. Not the, I don't think it'd be through here, right? How do I get up there? Hmm, can I Bethesda this? Oops, not with you, I can't. No! There we go. Let me see if I can Bethesda my way up. 694 dollars! That's too much. That's too much. I don't know, I guess it also depends on how much what you're like, how hardcore you went, because like, if that's just like a few drinks, then it's like, Ugh. but then if it's like, then it's like, well, we went crazy. It's like, well, yeah, okay. It also could depend on like the specific bar and like the area. Yeah, that's much closer to 400. The Euro is pretty strong right now, huh? Yeah, I, I don't know a ton of the conversion. I used to be better with the conversion rates because I was uh, working with more international clients, but most of my stuff is through a single platform in USD now, so I kind of, kind of gone rusty. Let's try it through this way. I feel like I'm supposed to wait until I get that other Pokemon. 20% tax. Yikes. Yeah, 20% is pretty high. Well, 15 still. And by my understanding of German culture, like they 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 do enjoy drinking, so 
I mean, that's a good way for the government to get revenue, I guess. Well, I'm not able to get up there as far as I can tell. Hmm. <sighs> no, it's still just telling me to get up there. Diamond settlement over there. Is there like a way around? Looks like I'm supposed to go around up through there, so let's try that. Oh yeah, that's right. If you yeah, if you're traveling, you can usually get get stuff duty free. That was always a pain when I worked at Starbucks because I worked at a really touristy location. So um if people gave us like their ID, their passport or ID or whatever, and we wrote the number down, they could get uh, tax free, but it meant that we would have to, on an actual like physical form, write down their information. And that was so annoying, especially when it was crazy busy. And it was so they could save like what, a few cents on tax from a single coffee. It was, it was a little ridiculous. Yeah, thankfully our economy is kind of bouncing back after the pandemic a little bit. But, um, you know, wages have certainly gone up, which is great. But then cost has gone up, which is stupid. Because there's really no reason that the executives couldn't have just taken a pay hit to cover that. But whatever. If they want to charge people more and then it's like, oh, McDonald's is now like nine bucks for... For a Big Mac meal, great. Nobody's gonna go to McDonald's. Although people already, here's the thing, McDonald's is not cheap. Um, McDonald's is like, actually pretty pricey as far as fast food goes, but it, it, you know, you get the dollar menu stuff. If you get the dollar menu stuff, you get a, uh, you get an okay deal, but like it's terrible. It's still terrible food. And then if you get like the the like better sandwiches, which are still pretty terrible because like their burger patties are awful. Just dry and thin, super low quality stuff, way overcooked because it has to be. Um and if you get the the chicken is like spongy and nasty. Like if you try and and get anything decent it's like so pricey it's like six bucks for some of those sandwiches and it's like that's just too much for that I could have just gone to like a better a better restaurant but then no it still is treated like oh it's poor people food that's super cheap it's not though it's really not like the only reason that you know, a lot of poor people eat it is because it is generally the only fast service food where they live because there's McDonald's almost everywhere. There might not be a better place to go, which is unfortunate. I mean, I remember as a kid in like high school living in the middle of nowhere, it's like, yeah, McDonald's was like a treat. It was the fanciest thing you could get where I was living basically. And yeah, it was just, it was not great, but it was still, you know, better than, better than nothing. And like, um, then where's Bravo Arena? It's over there. So how do I get there? Is it there? Is it that tiny little, tiny little gap? I guess it must be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, a little wisp. Oh, wait, is Bravo Arena just down here then? Oof. I wish it was more clear about how much health I had. How old am I? 30? 
can't do anything in what way? Uh, see this bag here? How do I get that? Where is that at? Maybe I have to get down. Where is the bag? Up here. Where's that? Where's that? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, you're a little, uh... You're a little hard to parse. Oh, is it up there? Maybe. No, it shows it right over there. Let's, where is this? Yeah, that explains it. You, you've you been confusing me a little bit, but... Whatever. I hope, I hope I'm good background noise for your trip. Um... In, in, in both senses. How do I get to Bravo Arena, though? It's supposed to be a way around. It's supposed to be a way around here. Like, it definitely feels like I'm supposed to be able to get... Uh. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, I wish it was more clear, because it, like, gives you the little bits on the edge that show, like, oh, you've taken damage, but, like, that's about it. It doesn't say directly like you're about to die or like more specifically just give me a number like one out of five health or something yeah inconsistent health systems is pretty annoying Whoop. I'm guessing that's I'm about to die alarm <clears throat> seriously how do I get over here what's up how do I do this It definitely seems to imply that I'm supposed to get up there somehow. And around, maybe? God, I hate this interface. Every time I hit a button, I feel like it's never doing anything that I want it to. Like, it always... It's... It's just so unintuitive. Any button I hit never feels like it does what it should be. You know? And when I feel like I've gotten a handle on it, I'll just do something on basic, like, gaming instinct and it will not work out. It's frustrating. Is this way? Is there a little gap? There we go. How... How did they expect me to get up here? Torches. I guess there's these torches along here. Well, oh, there's the little gant. Let's not deal with uh, let's not deal with her yet. Yeah, exactly. I hate medical insurance. I only make like, um. I think what I, I was making at the end of last year, it, I was projected to make like 30k this year, and they're like, okay, it's 130 a month, and that covers like nothing. It The most I get is like discounts on prescriptions, and hold on a bit, and like, yeah, most, I still have to pay for most of my stuff. Like, they only cover preventative stuff. No, 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 hold on a bit. Figured I could just wait until I actually talk to him again. <clears throat> and it's like, that's... I just... It's so expensive. It's so ridiculous. It's not good healthcare either. Like, I, I honestly really don't like my doctor. I really want to find a different one, but she's just in the most convenient location. And yeah, it's just... It's like, I literally started going to the doctor because I finally had, like what felt like decent health insurance, and now it's just so expensive. I'm spending more on medical insurance than pretty much anything else. And it's just, yeah. 
In America, we have the most expensive healthcare in every aspect. It's a nightmare, even if you have the best insurance. Even if you have the best insurance, it's so difficult to actually figure things out with insurance to s make sure that it's even going to cover anything. Like, it's so annoying. And then it's just like... It's some of the worst healthcare in the world. Like, we have some of the worst doctors, the worst facilities. Like, it's... It's so annoying because pretty much every other country, if you're sick... You go to the hospital, and then you leave. And the government pays for it, because you should be allowed to be alive. That should be a pretty basic thing that they cover. It's just, it's a major headache. If they're the highest in the world, then we have some major problems with healthcare in general then, because... I gotta tell you, the amount of horrible, horrible experiences I've had with American hospitals and American doctors and that I've heard from other people, like, if we really are leading in uh, healthcare, then that's that's real depressing because it's, it's not good. Uh, ah, skipping through dialogue because it got me off on a tangent. Uh, I dare say she bit off more than she could chew and caused some trouble, but her heart was in the right place. Listen, the Lady of the Ridge, Lilligan, is like a dancer. Always in motion, always darting about. I'm pretty sure she's part of Pearl Clan. You'll want to watch her real close and learn how to dodge her moves. That's right. If you keep on dodging, she might get tired out, and that'll be your opening. That's when you can bring out your own Pokemon to prove your might. Don't let me down. Okay. Yeah, that's real depressing. Like, equipment, maybe, but service, no. I've had, I, I don't think I've ever been happy with any of the medical care that I've received. I don't know, maybe part of that is that it's always soured by the fact that I had to make like 30 calls to my health insurance and then my doctor and then back to my health insurance to make sure that everything's going to be covered and then afterwards, oh, actually you get a huge bill anyways because they lied. It's, yeah, it's, it's frustrating. All right, let's deal with her. You press the Y button to dodge, you'll become invulnerable. Yeah, I know. What are you talking? How could I have gotten this far without knowing about the dodge roll that you've already told me about? All right, all right, we're just third person shooting here. Jeez. Okay. See, why can't I? Why can't the battles be like this? Where you're actually like having to dodge around and you have your Pokemon able to like maneuver. This is what I expected the battles to be like. Okay, she just does that. This is actually not too difficult. So just gotta dodge out of the way of her two jumpies. Keep throwing. Oh, looks like she's gonna change it up a little bit. Nope. Oh, third one. Okay, she did change it up a little. Get her. Get her. Show Lil again your power. No, stop. Um, let's go with Aerial Ace. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah, good for you, but, like, that shouldn't be a prerequisite that you actively know a doctor. You know? And even outside of medical checkups, like, there's surgeons who m constantly mess up major surgeries in this country, and it's treated like a, no problem. It's, it's, that's just what you gotta deal with, and so you spend $200,000 on a major surgery. They mess it up, you end up worse than when you started. And now, and you're out like six figures. Like, that's ridiculous to me. See, you're. Yeah, you made the wrong choice. You went to uni. 
I'm kidding. It's probably a good enough choice if you can afford it, but like... It's really unfortunate. It's, uh, similarly, it's like we spend so much money on universities. Like, college is incredibly expensive nowadays. And most degrees are not actually going to get you the kind of work you need to pay it back with whatever student loan you get. It's ridiculous. I, I, and I honestly, I don't feel like there are many universities that would be worth it, considering how expensive they are. Like, yeah, it took me a decade without college to finally get into a comfortable place financially, but you know what? I don't have any of the ridiculous college debt that people have, and I didn't waste my time. On the uni I took the option in Game of Life, you know, in the beginning of Game of Life, where they're like, do you go to college or do you... Uh, not, and like you get a, like, save a week and you start with more money, but then like you don't, you get a worse career. It's like, yeah, that's the option I chose. I chose, I couldn't afford college. I would have gone to like a crappy community college at most, and that's not gonna really set you up for, that's not gonna set you up for a great life anyways. Yeah, that's the, that's the other thing. It's like, you can either go to a really good college and have to get a student loan and be screwed over that way, or you can go debt-free with a scholarship but have to settle for a college that you don't like. Like, we shouldn't have to make those choices. It's, pr it's pretty, pretty annoying to me. That every, people have to settle, people have to compromise all the time, and people are like, well, that's life. But it's like, you know what? Maybe life could be better. Like, just because it has to suck now doesn't mean it has to suck forever. Ah! Dip. I looked at the chat at the wrong moment. Uh, yeah, let's restart that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's like, similarly, money should not be the option. If we want to act like everybody has the same opportunities in this country, then we can't... Then we can't say that, like, money is the thing that changes major life decisions, like the college you go to, the kind of health care that you get. The kind of job that you have, it's like all of these huge decisions, you only really have free choice of it if you have unlimited money. If money is at all a factor in it, then you're gonna have to compromise in some way, and that's it's not really a choice. Come on, little gant. Go down. Go down. All right. Hit it with the aerial ace. I was pretty close last time. Frankly, the only reason I lost was because I was real distracted. Don't get fired up by chat. Hit him with the aerial ace. Nice. Maybe I can get him in two. Uh, yep. Got him. Am I good at this game? I think the game is just not that hard. Like, first off, Pokemon is pretty, pretty simple to begin with. Especially now, because it, like... Back in the day, you had to actually, like, memorize the different move types and stuff, but now... Nowadays, you don't even have to deal with that, because it's all just written down next to the move. Uh, leveling is way easier, and yeah, all of the, like, all, that's pretty much it. It's just, like, if you know what moves are weak to what, then this is just, like, a weird half Monster Hunter, half, like, Bloodborne kind of combat system that's really not that difficult. Because it's, it's meant to be accessible to kids, of course, but, like, yeah, I don't know. 
kids like hard stuff. Back in, back in Nintendo days, everything was super hard. And kids were fine. Like, in general, I, I think babying kids with difficulty is... Like, have accessibility, you know? So if someone's, like, has motor control problems because their motor controls haven't developed or, you know, disability or something, like, yeah, make it so that it's inclusive for them, for sure. But, you know, you can still make it difficult within the actual cerebral side of it. Like, if someone wants to play it, they'll step up to the game. And if they, if it's too hard and they find that unpleasant, then that's fine. Like, they'll rise to the tide if that's what they want to do. Uh... Uh... I would say if you want to try a Pokemon game, you should go back a few generations. I hear Black and White is a good starter. I personally started with Crystal, but that might be a little much. This one is very different, but it's a lot of the similar stuff within it. Uh, a lot of the modern ones are very hand-holdy. Then, getting a medal for- Okay, participation trophies are not the kids' ideas. I find that very frustrating that people treat it like... Like, kids demanded that. No, par like... Parents decided that because there would always be one kid who would get upset that they lost, that we can't let anybody ever lose because they might be upset. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's the adult's idea that there's no, we can't let anyone ever have a moment of negative emotion. And it's like, yeah, let the kid be upset. That's a part of life. Sometimes things don't go great and you're upset about it. Good. That's gonna happen more as an adult, so just... Yeah. Sincerely. Um... What the f I keep skipping through dialogue. Uh, you didn't just save Lilligant, you saved Arezu as well. I appreciate it. Uh... So is she the... I can't tell because these color schemes are ridiculous! Look at that! Is she blue? Is she purple? Are they red? I can't tell which clan is which because they're all over the place visually i think she's part of the one yeah yeah uh first her saloon and now Lilligant. you're amazing you know that being all friends i guess i can't remember i'm pretty sure this is the voice i gave her before being all frenzy didn't suit Lilligant one bit i'm so happy she's back to her graceful self lil Rezu, you still owe someone an apology. Huh? Oh yeah, she has to be part of his clan because she's got the same symbol. It's just blocked by her freaking bag. Yeah. Hmm. Nah, you're not bothering me. You have a good weekend yourself, Viv. See you the next time you have a chance. Have a good one. Thanks for popping in. Oh, don't worry about it. A young one like her is bound to get caught up in some trouble from time to time. Remember what's written in the Salacion ruins? All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. There's wisdoms in those words. I imagine they're the teaching of Almighty Sinnoh itself. Of course, I'd completely forgotten about them until certain somebody helped me remember. We owe you one, ma'am. Don't try to solve everything by yourself, Arezu. You're a warden. Of all people, we should know how to stand in solidarity with others. It's our job to stand side by side with Pokemon, after all. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Well, I can hardly start yelling at you now after Kalaba wrapped all that, all, all that up so nicely. Just one more thing, Arezu. I know you were trying to do what you thought was right, and I approve of that. But from now on, do it without keeping things from me. Do it without keeping things from me. <laughs> Cold reading is difficult. Other than that, no need to change a thing. Except maybe to put in some training. If anything else happens to Lilligant, I need you ready to protect her like the warden you are. I understand. Let's work together from now on to keep the Mirelands safe, Arezu. I'll be sure to inform Arita that both the Diamond Clan and Galaxy Team helped save Ursaluna. You did well, Iggy. All our different groups finally joined hands to work together today. I admit it was a fun day for me, but now it's about time I'll be on my way. Listen, you know, I... You know me. I'm Adaman, leader of the Diamond Clan, 
and I worship Almighty Sinnoh, the ruler of time. Time is all about change, and we can't live in fear of that. We can only try to help the time we live in change for the better. Something tells me helping you folks out would help me do that. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for everything, Iggy. Or no, that's a... Thank you for everything, Iggy. I think I'll stay and talk to Lilligant for a while. Y'all gonna... What you gonna talk about? What happened, Lilligant? How'd a kind-hearted Pokemon like you end up all frenzied, huh? But it's not like I'm perfect. I hid things in line and couldn't even keep you safe. I'm real sorry about everything. Lady. All right. Back to the camp. Uh, well, I'm just gonna. Yeah, we're just gonna jump. I don't know. There's. Oh wait, no, that's just a fast travel in general. What's over here? New request, eh? Hmm. Maybe I should go grab that. I can't see the pit. Well, what's the point? Oh, wait, no, there it is. Okay, you can see the pins. Yeah, it's a waypoint. Why would I be able to... Mm. Whatever. Let's go check that out because it's pretty close. And then we will swing back around to town. Drop some stuff off. And also, yeah, I'm gonna... Nope. I'm gonna evolve Rowlet. Yeah. Nice. Um. Let's... Ooh, and Zubat. Evolve. Zubat, Zubat, Zubat. Become Golbat. Here he comes. The ah! scream. I love Golbat. He big boy. Eat whole watermelon, not even need chew. And let's, yep, let's evolve Rowlet. Little round boy, become edgy team. Oh, here we come. Where, there he is. He's a fluffy little boy. Dartrix. Still pretty round. I can still vibe with this guy. Let's go. Oh, oh, is it the river? No, no, it's not here. Who's got a new request way the heck out here? Oh. oh this is... Diamond Clan. Huh. Hello? Marsha? You're from the Galaxy team, aren't you? Do you know if a medicine can cure headaches? I need for my Psyduck. I live together with these little ones, and I can tell they've been suffering terribly. I wish I could do something to help, but none of the medicines I've tried have worked at all. There's so many people in the galaxy team. Surely you must have some sort of healer. Please, could you ask them for some medicine? Will do. The headache-stricken Psyduck. Did I get a fast travel? Yes, good. Okay. To the Meyerlands camp. Let's go! You're a real wonder. I saw light disappearing into the space-time rift. Quelled another frenzied Pokémon, have you? We still don't know what's causing the lightning that frenzies these Pokémon. But you! You just go on rescuing them without even a hint of trepidation. You might even change the entire course of history here in Hisui. And I definitely want to be in the good books of someone like that. Let's stay in touch, friend. Cool. Let's go home, Leventon. Let's do it. Do -do -do. Nice. Okay. Continue. What's this? You quilled Lady Lilligant? Smashing! Let's head back to the village then. The commander will be wanting a report. I mean, I was gonna anyway, so that works out. 
Ah. Hello? Y yes? Very slow. Found her by the scent of my mochi, did you? Of course you did. When you have my level of skill, your handiwork can be recognized from a mile away. Remember to be thankful for getting to eat such masterful mochi when you come for dinner later. But first, don't you own Kamado a report? Your meal can wait. Okay. I'm hungry, though. Let me eat! Not this time. Alright. Uh, Kamado's upstairs. I actually would like some more space in my satchel. I keep running out. I... Ooh. Wait a minute. No. It's not Kamado, is it? That's like Lucene or whatever. Right? Yeah, I don't know. Hmm? Wait. Oh. oh. Hello? Oh, this is just a... Uh, right. Hmm? You're after a medicine that can cure Psyduck's headaches. Well, you came to the right person. Take this. It's a secret medicine that only those from my hometown know how to make. You obtained a dose of secret medicine. As you'll see, it works wonders. Give it to any ailing Pokemon and you'll soon be right as rain. Even a Psyduck headache will clear right up, I'm sure. It's pretty bold. Hey, Nurse Joy. Are you still Nurse Joy? Pacel. Not quite Joy, just Pacel. And I think I saw one. Eh, whatever. Yeah, I did see one way down there. Is it downstairs? It must be. Hold on, let's swing around to see what that's about. What's up? Oh, hey, aren't you the one who was hanging out at the Fieldlands camp? That nostalgic and unmistakable fragrance. If only I could smell it again. I wonder if the herbs from my home region could be found here in Hisui as well. I'm totally guffed up that line. Oh, you're part of the Survey Corps, right? Maybe you've seen what I'm looking for. It's an herb that looks like a bluish vine. I've heard it clings to a specific Pokemon. Please let me know if you manage to catch a Pokemon that has herbs that look like blue vines hanging off it. You mean... A Tangela, right? Did you find the Pokemon? Yeah, you mean Tangela, right? Yeah, just look at it. It's a solid lump of vines. And this aroma, this is the scent I remember. Yes, these are the herbs for my home. I didn't expect the Pokemon to be so absolutely covered in herbs. I mean, vines. And are the vines moving? I wonder what the Pokemon itself looks like underneath all those. He's big boy. Tangela are always so much larger than I expect. Anyway, thank you for finding it. Cool. Yeah, that was an easy one. You guys gonna be buds? Don't worry, I'm only gonna take a little bit of your vines to use as herbs. Oh, I have an idea. If I lived with a Pokemon like you, I'd be able to enjoy this aroma every day. Hmm? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I bought too many honey cakes because I misunderstood the one mission. Hmm. Gonna get some more room in my satchel later. But first, to turn in the mission. What's up? So, you successfully come to Lilligant. Excellent. There may well be times when the Galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokémon, but it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free from war and strife. A stranger falls into our world from a rift in space-time, and frenzies are induced by strange lightning, which likewise falls from that very same rift. But you have no connection to the lightning. Isn't that right? We may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are beyond Im impugning. Sure. If you, if you feel the need. All right. Then we get some mochi. There you go. Five and hot potato mochi, fresh from the stove. Now this is the life, eh? Enjoying tasty potato mochi with friends, sharing the latest findings from our Pokemon research, and topping it all off with a good night's sleep. 
Truly, who could ask for anything more? Sure, it's nice, yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? With our research or with carving out a life here? Oh, right. Have this flashy new recipe, Iggy. It ought to scatter those gloomy thoughts. Scatterbangs. One pop pod and one caster fern leaf. Come now, don't worry yourself so, my boy. As a wise man once said, trust in yourself and you will find your way. These words are worth taking to heart. As long as we truly believe in ourselves, I'm sure we'll even complete that Pokédex of ours someday. Yeah. The next day. Good morning. Good morning. Morning, sleepyhead. You'll never guess what. I'm gonna start working at the hairdresser's shop. Now you'll be able to try out my own original hairstyles. Isn't that super exciting? Oh, I'm still gonna be a little against Warden and all. I'll be burning the candle at both ends, but I can make it work. Don't you worry. Anyway, come on over to the hairdresser's when you can, Iggy. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. You know what, I think this is a voice I gave someone else, but whatever. I am pleased that you have found a worthy successor for your establishment, Edith. M Mr. Kamado, sir. Er, so about that whole Ursaluna situation. If you are to work here in Jubilee Village, you are family to us, no matter who you are or where you're from. Welcome, Arezu. And you, Iggy. You will come with me. To Prelude Beach! Uh, sure. Not like I have much of a choice. This is a bloody cutscene. Sup? Yeah. These people have just arrived here in Isui. They will live together with us in Jubilife Village. When we of the Galaxy Team first arrived in this land, we came ashore on Prelude Beach. It is where everything began. This is where a new life for all of you will begin as well. We've heard that the Hisui region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokemon. But we've also heard the Galaxy Team knows a great deal about Pokemon and uses their mysterious powers to help Jubilife Village grow. Indeed, you have both heard correctly. And the reason such tales have reached our ears is largely thanks to Iggy here, one of our Survey Corps recruits. Through the combined efforts of all our team members, let us continue to develop our village and thrive here in the Hisui region. We look forward to doing our part, Commander. The advancement of our understanding of Pokémon, thanks to the Survey Corps, has expanded the arenas where we can operate safely. Areas, I meant. That is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. Iggy, you truly do love Pokémon, don't you? I do. Hmm, Pokemon have done grave injury to many of our fellows in the Galaxy Team. And yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose that is a necessary quality for one in the Survey Corps. Remember this, though. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It is imperative that we study them and learn all that we can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. And be warned, as the leader of the Galaxy Team, I am prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Jubilife Village. Excuse me, boss. The Rita from the Pearl Clan's here. Good. I believe I know what she's here about. As for you, Iggy, you should see for yourself how Jubilife Village is changing thanks to the Survey Corps' efforts. Then you will come to my office. All right. That's a good spot to take a break, so I will be our back with more Pokemon Legends Arceus in just a minute. Don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet now. Okay? Okay.
Hey, I am back. Here we go. What, uh, you know what? I should update my look. I haven't done that in a few streams. So let's get it going. Yeah, I've been the same uh, somewhat bland look for quite a while, so I feel like I can afford some slick outfits, improve the drip, and a Rezu's at the hair salon now so I can get a fresh cut. Give me some extensions. Da -da 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 -da. Who is that? What the request is? Oh no, it's this guy again. They're having like a rivalry. Hello again, valued customer. You've arrived in the nick of time. I'm afraid Tahua is refusing to do business with me again. He won't listen to a word I say, so would you try to persuade him for me again? I'm sure you'll get somewhere if you bring three pop pods as a token of goodwill. Perhaps after, the, the, perhaps after this, he'll actually accept me. I mean, I'll try. I don't know where, where those are at. Hey, what's up? Hey, uh, wait, no. Hey there, in the mood for a style ta change? Style change? Great, come on inside! We got it. We got it in two. Grab yourself a seat. So what'll it be? What do we got? What looks good? Uh, eh. Shorn. Ooh, that's pretty close to what we got right now. Maybe I'll go shorn. Middle part? Middle part's pretty dorky. Uh, side part. Oh, well, side part's kind of kind of prim and cute. Twin tails? Mm, not quite. Curled. Eh. I want one. They never do it, but I want one that's just like actively curly hair like you get wavy at best I want like long curly hair but yeah we're going shorn since I currently am and let's go black now nah, let's let's keep it slate how different yeah gold actually let's go chestnut I think chestnut looks kind of nice and then eyebrows. Let's make those white. No. Pink? Hmm. Yeah, I think pink's cute. Confirmed. Let's do it. You got it, girl. Here goes nothing. Aw, oh, messed up. We gotta go bald. Bald should be an option. And we're done here. Not a bad look, wouldn't you say? Thanks for coming now. Drop by again anytime you hear. Keep polishing my skills. All right, and then let's get some new clothes. Buy clothing. Hats. Do I want a hat? Well, I just changed my hair. This is some wide hats. Man, we got so many options. Well, oh, well, mm, nah. Ooh, that looks kind of nice. That looks nice with the cut hair. Ah! Little mask. Ooh, Badoof hat. Headbands are pretty cool. Hmm. Handkerchief. Eh, or headkerchief. Excuse me. You know what? I'm going to do the rest of the outfit first. Ooh, the kimonos are nice. They get kind of pricey. Oh, fancy kimono. I see. Festival tops. Those look pretty cool. Okay, so it's like every day or it's a kimono style. Let's go with kimono. And let's go... Ooh, I like tangerine. 
Oh, wait, no. Let me do it all up. I'm not allowed to see it with the... Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay, and then let's see how the pants look. Ooh, dark slate with the tangerine. Oh, that looks a little too... That looks a little too DBZ. Ooh, patterns, huh? Hmm, sky. Kind of nice. I kind of like the bug ones. Ooh, earth, though. Yeah, we're going, going with the earth ones. Um. Oh, wait. Well, no, I couldn't have afforded those anyways. Uh, I'm not going full outfits. Ah, oh, no, I'm broke. Hold on, I gotta go sell some stuff. Gotta go sell some of those honey cakes that I bought. Sell. Sell. Nice. Okay. Er, uh, no, wait. I want to go. Yes. I got to go get some accessories real quick. Continuing. Definitely. I've been told that hippopotamus have different appearances based on their gender. I feel like if I were able to see and compare them, it would inspire me to create new designs for my clothing. Okay. I will keep that in mind. Uh, buy some clothes. Let's do it. So let's go shoes. Ooh. Is that what they're called? Geta sandals? Geta? I think those should match. Yeah, those should match. Hello. Zori. Which looks a little different. Fancy Zori. Oh, they just got a little bobble on them. Ooh, split toe boots. Do those come in tangerine? Oh, yeah, that's sick. Yes. Then let's see if we got any cool glasses. Tinted. Ooh. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, that can match. And then we're going to get one of those headbands. There we go. Look at the drip. Look at the drip. Ooh. -woo. My Pokemon styling. Heck yeah. Look at the drip. Oh. Looking fly. All right, let's drop some stuff off in the inventory and then continue on with the story. Um, yeah. Move all this crafting stuff. Moving, moving. On to that. And yeah, I'll hang on to the stuff for crafting all of that. How much space do I have? Plenty. I got plenty of space. Alright. We are good to go. Uh, let's. No, let's. Save. I hate saving in this game. Because you got to remember which menu it's in, and then you have to scoot over with the shoulder buttons as well. Like, come on, man. Why does it have to be so obnoxious? All 
right. Let's continue the story. Oh, that's just a... Uh... Oh, no, no, there is some up there. Uh, but let me check the request board. Yeah, Krogunk's Curative Poison. Sure, let's activate the guide on that and go talk to her. A little later, though, because we gotta go get the next story bit going on. Or not. Huh, I thought that was Kamado. Guess it was over here? Hmm. Is it Pascal? Pascal! Hola. Como estas? Ah, you're here for my- Oh, wait, she's the one I had to go to. Okay. You're here for my request about Krogunk? A member of the Diamond Clan told me that they make medicine by diluting Krogunk's poison. Medicine made from Krogunk's poison can apparently relieve pain in the lower back. I'd love to have some to give Buck. The poor gentleman's bedridden from back pain. I know how to make the medicine, so all I need is some help getting my hands on Krogunk poison. Head to the Crimson Mirelands and catch me a Krogunk, would you? Yes, I will. Eventually, but for now, a new mission. Wow, such a creative name for this new mission. You guys really thought long and hard about that one, huh? A new mission. The mission ain't old. I commend, uh, I commend you on your successful research of the Pokemon living in the Crimson Mire Lands. Your next orders are to begin the survey of the Cobalt Coastlands. I'll let you know in advance. There are no Pokemon nobles in the, uh, the Cobalt Coastlands. Allow me to explain. We did have a lord in the Coastlands until a few years ago. Tragedy took him from us. Now, we've had reports of people seeing strange shadowy figures on the island the Lord used to call his home. We have also received word from both the Survey Corps, uh, Security Corps and Supply Corps. It seems some of their members were attacked by a ghost while out gathering materials around Fire Spit Island. These are serious concerns, and moreover, my clan just can't tolerate this desecration of our late Lord's seat. Normally, I'd entrust this to our warden in the coastlands, but her situation is... complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. Got it. I'll meet you in the Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. Oh, and I know this must be a bewildering situ be a bewildering situation to be dropped into. I'm sorry, Iggy. Think nothing of it. Iggy is a talented and hardworking member of the Galaxy team. I'm sure she will sort things out. Indeed. Iggy quelled the Lord of the Woods. I've seen both her strength and her kindness firsthand. Up. The next area for you to investigate will be the Cobalt Coastlands. It is farther afield than the Crimson Mirelands, much farther, and the path is long and trying. With your current rank, you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. You know your mission. Investigate Spire Fire for the Fire Spit Island. Okay, I will do that. But first, I saw some requests in town that I should pick up. Yeah. New request, new request. Let's go see what the request's about. Wait, no, they're down this way. Yeah. What is happening? Are you not the new request? Plan them after his three leaves. Oh. Yeah, we already, I already talked to you. Ah, is it in here? No, it's over here. I think that's the other one I was gonna check, but okay. Ah, what a remarkable tale that was. The Pokemon it belonged to must have been a wee little thing. It was hiding behind some rocks when I found it, with not but its tail poking out. 
but it was a tail I'd give anything to see again. Think you could catch the Pokemon I'm talking about? Its tail was elegant and swirly like a spring. Come show it to me after you catch it, and I'll give you a nice reward. Sure. Where's this other request? Is it indoors? I think I gotta go in the house to get it. I hope so, because the loading times are annoying. Yep, here he is. Why, if it isn't one of the youngins from the survey car, good thing you dropped by. I need some help making French with this Eevee. Think you could lend a hand? I guess. Canella, my granddaughter, brought the little guy home with her the other day, and I want us to be on good terms. He looks like a friendly guy. After thinking long and hard, I decided the best way to win Eevee over is the old-fashioned way. Through tasty treats. So I'll be whipping up a special snack for my hometown. Some ingredients for it don't grow here in Hisui, but I found a few local berries and things that make good enough substitutes. Three stalks of hearty grains, two hoppo berries, and one raspberry is what I need. I'm counting on you. Oh, I think I can got all those things in my inventory. Let me actually... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got all that. Let me, uh, let me swing back to my place real quick. And see what's up. So we need three hearty grains. Hoppo berry. And raspberry. Sweet. Alright, let's take it back. Take it back now, y'all. Burnt. One hop this time. Burnt, burnt. Two hops this time. Burp, 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 burp. Turn it up. Mm, everybody turn it up. I got your stuff. I see you found all the ingredients I asked for. Three stocks of hearty grains, two hoppo berries, and one raspberry. Yep, they're all here. Are you happy to give these to me? Yeah, sure, go for it. You handed over three stocks of hearty grains. You handed over two hoppo berries. You handed over the raspberry. Wonderful, these ingredients look nice and fresh. I'll get cooking, so wait here a while, would you? Okay, they're all done. Let's have a taste before giving one to Evie, shall we? You obtained the hometown muffin. A baked treat made from berries and other ingredients, which is often eaten in regions such as Galar. It is beloved by a surprising number of Pukemon. Munch, munch. Hmm, that's interesting. It tastes awful. I guess it tastes fine, but it's just not the same as the muffins from my hometown. I remember them being more moist and having this nice, delicate flavor to them. Sorry to waste your time after all the trouble you went through to gather the ingredients for us. But I'm afraid these mediocre muffins won't be enough to give me an Eevee's good books. V. Well, what's the matter, Eevee? Do you want one? Well, I won't stop you. Here you go. V. You like it that much? Th that's great. I'm so glad. V. -V. Hmm? You want another? I don't think that's wise. Too many snacks will give you a bellyache. E? Oh, now you... Who Now who could resist that cute little face? I'll spoil you run if I'm not careful. Yes, I will. Thanks to you, it seems Evie and I will get on just fine. More than fine, even. I'm in your debt. As for my new muffin creations, they're not quite the same as the ones from my hometown, so how about we get all them Jubilife muffins instead? I think I know just what to do to make them even tastier for my darling Evie, too. I've tried down some ideas, so here, you should try making some for yourself. I will do this. Do do do. All right, another request in the bank. I wonder how many requests there will be total. Because right now we have up through forty-eight.
sure. Oh, wait, I have someone to turn in, actually. Uh, don't have that one yet. Still working on that. Still working on that. Yeah, mm-hmm. Uh, I will do that sometime. That's the one. Let's go turn that in, and then we can head out. All right, get on, get on. No wanna made, uh, what was it? Where could he be? Wanna made it back home safe. Boy, am I ever, am I ever glad I asked you. You're just as good as everyone says you are. One is still new to the security corps, you understand? She's a bit flighty at the best of times, so I can't help but worry about her. If it's not asking too much, do you think we could continue to keep an eye on her? Oh, stop it, Zeke. You're embarrassing me. I just got lucky that this time. That's all it was. That's what you have me believe. But ever since we were kids, the instant I took my eyes off you, you'd be lost somewhere in the bushes. Well, anyway, Iggy, I do appreciate all your help, so thank you for me, too. Gone astray. Firelands. I'm gonna guess that that's gonna be like a whole quest line. Where, uh... She'll keep getting lost. Sounds fun to me. All right, let's drop off that stuff I picked up. And we'll, yeah. You know, don't need this stuff. All right, let's go. Gotta get out to the coastland to continue the story. Hmm? What's going on? Ah, uh, if it is an Iggy. Oh, this guy. Though I suppose it's to be expected that I'd run into you in the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? The Cobalt Coastlands. Oh, the Cobalt Coastlands? Pauline is certainly in a bit of a situation over there. She's a warden, and yet she has no noble to say to. There are even some people in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her, though not to her face. Oh, but do forgive me. Perhaps I shouldn't be uh, airing dirty laundry. A piece of advice, then, as an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones, which hold mysterious power. With the right stone, you can even evolve some Pokemon. You need to look no further than Cleavor for proof of that. What I'm trying to say is basically this. If you and the Survey Corps want to learn all there is to know about the Pokemon of this region, then the stones you find throughout Husui will be very important. There's even a tale of a stone that contains the power of creation. The very same power Almighty Sinnoh used to create the universe. I trust you'll take my advice to heart and not underestimate how important stones can be to help grind this fact into you. Here, I'll give you some rather handy stones and things I found. You obtained two grit pebble. Hmm. Three sacks of grit gravel. It can only be used only if the effort level is at least level three and no greater than level five? What? I don't even understand what effort level is, so okay, thanks, I guess. And should you want some stones that can help Pokemon evolve, I believe the Ginkgo Guild has them from time to time. I'll keep that in mind. Here we go! Wow, I've already unlocked, like, a big chunk of this land. You wish to go to the beachside camp? Yes! Yes, I do. I wish it very much. Oh. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Cobalt Coastlands. Yeah. Hold on, let me 
position correct. Ah, the Cobalt Coastlands. A simply lovely corner of Hisui. Sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What kinds of Pokemon await us here, I wonder? Water types? Or flying types, perhaps? Ooh, I simply can't wait to study them all. Now, I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to research this area's Pokemon, but let's not forget that you have a mission to accomplish. So, any questions before you get started? About that warden. Wardens, in fact. Here in the Cobalt Coastlands, you'll find Polina of the Pearl Clan and Iskan of the Diamond Clan. Perhaps they'll be of some help to you as you dig into those curious occurrences. Hmm, okay. Hello. Yes. Can I help you? Yeah, this is who I thought Arezu was at first. And then for quite a while. Oh, finally a different tune. Then I confused her for May. So now I'm just giving her May's voice, but I don't think we're gonna see a lot more of May. Beautiful, beautiful. I do love the flute. It feels as if its tones carry to the very ends of space. But I am here, and so are you. So now I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. I'm game. Very good. You who have seen the vast space beyond the rift, here I come! Fight. Oh, it's a, it's a Glaceon. Where did you get that? Uh, is this a good matchup? Oh no. Hey, wait a minute. Where'd you come from? Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. I didn't ask for you. Uh, ooh. Let's try Aerial Ace. I did okay. We're fairly evenly matched, it seems. Nope, nope, never mind. That was the Eevee's move, wasn't it? Well, obviously, I want to spend out Punita then. See, it's fire. Quick attack. Yeah, what? Hair with the flame wheel. Melted. Burned. He's all quits being burned. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, Frostbite. That's new. I haven't heard of Frostbite before. Uh, ew. Slack him with an ember. Slack him with a. Nope. Keep forgetting double hit isn't actually a move. Like, it's not an. Uh, Attacking move. Hold on, let's switch over to Pikachu! No, I want Pikachu. Yes. Yes, I want to switch to Pikachu. A Pikachu! Alright, let's uh. Let's Thundershock. Paralyzed? No. Wow. Got him. Nice. Ooh, leveled and up. That was it? You just had a Glaceon and an Eevee? Ah, now I feel better. The world is vast, and I'm small within it. Me too, bud. Me too. Thank you. Allow me to heal your Pokemon. Alright, with you? I think with you I can be frank. I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander. But in truth, I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. You see, we have a warden in the coastlands. A lovely woman named Polina. But she tends no lord or lady. She will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. But Lena, that is to say Polina, she's very dear to me, no matter what anyone might say. We were both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. We strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal too. 
Having said all this, I have a favor to ask of you. Please help her raise the Pokémon she looks after into a true heir to his father, the late Lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late Lord's heir would grow into a worthy successor. And if he succeeds, it should silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know of anyone I trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleavor's frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up on the headland. Head down this hill, turn left, you should find a slope leading up onto the ridge. Thanks. What are those? Oh my gosh. This is a uh, skitty. Well, no, I think that's the... Oh, hey. Wait a minute, that's the guy... That's the guy where we need the one request. Okay. Well, let's sneak up on him, man. <laughs> Do they see me? Sneak attack! Caught. Yes, glam meow. That, that's, that's pretty good. Is that an Azumarill? Nice, got a couple of them. Do you have a request for me? Oh no, that's a spiel. Ah, uh, feather balls. Oh, hey, thanks. Can't catch us a spiel or two. They're just a little round boy. Do love me a round Pokemon. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Let me catch you. Oh. I love when you can see their face and they're just like, oh. oh, look at the little portrait. That little round fella just looking. Just looking like, you mean me? You mean me? that ball? Oh, well, I know what that ball is. That's my man's spiel. Huh? What is this? Oh, it's a pop pod. Need some of those. Hello! Full cowling Deku 2. That's a good name. I gotta get some of these pop pots. Oh my gosh, there's so many spiels. I mean, I'm gonna need to catch them eventually anyways. So let's catch them. Cut. How's the day going? Pretty good. Pretty good. I've got a... Uh... Ah, no! He's getting away. Been streaming for a couple hours. Feeling, feeling pretty solid on that. Went to see uh, the new Doctor Strange movie earlier. It was great. I'm so glad. My greatest fear with it was that they weren't gonna let, um, they weren't gonna let Sam Raimi do, you know, his thing. You know, they were just gonna like cramp him down and make it just another bland Marvel movie. But nah, dude, it's it's full on weird Sam Raimi stuff. Loved it. How's your day doing? How's your day do go, Ing? Yes, I am English. Speak good. Hmm. Okay, I should get. Oh, that's not Glam Meow. I thought it was because the tail's from a distance, but that's, uh. What's. Precorpion? What's their name? Angry. Angry is what they are. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go! Get out of here! Get out of here! Ooh, another Tangela. I do love those mans. Grab one of them. Was that a Beautifly? Whoa, 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 he's running! Got him. Uh-oh. I'm out of regular Pokeballs. Wait. Whoa, uh oh, nope, that's not what I meant. Nope. I hate that that's the plus button because I'm always like, yeah, I got to pause, so I'm going to hit the plus. Every time. Pretty lonely today. Aw, sorry to hear that. I do hope that you get a chance to do that then. But thanks for coming in. 
watching the stream for now. You know, hopefully this is uh, this will keep you some amount of some amount of uh, company in the meantime. I can only do so much, but you know what? I I do my best to be friendly. Now, now he's angry. Watch out! Don't do it. No, don't do it. Can't get him now. Nope, he is still aggressive. Ah! Run away! Oh, wait. Is this something I can throw Pokemon at? Oh, ooh, it's just like a compost pile. Gross. Uh, it, whoop. No, take me to the Pokeball. Come back. Come back, my tangly boy. Mine. No, stop it. I'm trying to catch a tangle. Stop it! Oh, I've been spotted! No! No! Oh, no. Stop it. Get caught. Get caught. Yeah! I don't know how I still got him. That was really a... <coughs> a gamble. But it worked out. Get out of here. Get out of here, businessman salamander. Alright, um... Round this way. Round that way. See some over there that looks new. What is this? What is this bean? Plump beans? Why is it just sitting there? Floating. I don't know if I try... This feels like a trap, frankly. Grab it and run. Oops, I hit the... I hit the duck button. Oh, well. Worked out. Still don't trust those beans, though. Not gonna feed any of those my Pokemon. That's poison. That's poison for sure. Oh, I don't need April Corns that bad. Um, I'm going the right way, right? Let's just... Hop on my steed! Oh, wait, no, that's Beautifly. What was the guy over there that I thought was beautiful? Ah! Nope, we're gonna... Well, we're gonna fight, I guess. He really wants to. How did I know that was a male Beautifly? Hmm. Weird. Oh, well. Mothim. Yeah. I frankly, av after like Gen 2 or 3, it gets kind of hazy. I don't know a lot of the more recent Pokemons. I'm doing my best, but yeah. just I, It's like I played Gen 1 and never beat it, uh, specifically Pokemon Yellow. And then I played Pokemon Crystal like a bunch of times. Love that one. And uh, then I just kind of fell off until Alola and haven't, yeah, and then, uh, you know, never quite finished Sun, got close, I'm like right at the end, but never finished it, same with, same with Shield, never finished Shield, but it's okay, it's just, I don't know, it's a bit tedious now, mainstream Pokemon, this is a little more fun just because there's a little more, you know, a little more strategy, you can kind of sneak up on them, that's fun. Uh, really hope Sprigatito stays on four legs in Gen 9. I mean, I don't really care either way, uh, personally. Because I'm also, as you say, you're probably going with Fue Coco. Me too. I'm going with Fue Coco all the way. I love that guy. He's a little round lizard man. That's my favorite. I love the round Pokemon. I love blizzards. It's perfect. He's a little, he's a little chili pepper. I'm so excited. But yeah, I don't really care about Sprigatito because I'm not going to play as them. But it has been kind of annoying, yeah, that like, that every time they're like, they they start out as an animal and then by the end they're like, some kind of weird like ninja or something. It's like, it doesn't bug me that much, but it would be nice to like kind of buck that trend at least for a little bit and refresh things for a minute. Just want to be helpeful. Pokemon, feel like Pokemon have been getting too humanoid. Mm. 
overall, not so much, but definitely the starters. The starters have all, like, by the final evolution, definitely all get pretty anthropomorphic, which, you know, I, I, it's not like I hate the designs, but yeah, it'd be nice if, you know, they, like, tried to move more in, like, exaggerating the animal features again. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, oh, aren't you the Survey Corps member who called the Lay of the Ridge? Well, listen to this. A couple of A-bombs stole my pack full of goods. Ah, oh, I see him over there. They've been turning around leaving me on a chase, almost like they're teasing me. I have got a hope of catching them. You must be used to dealing with Pokemon. Can you get my pack back from those Apom? Just wanted to be like Bulbasaur. Onion turtle, then a flower turtle. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like they're just kind of overthinking it. They're just like, oh, it has to be like some kind of profession or something. It's like, nah, it can be as, it can be pretty simple, guys. Just make them bigger. And like, yeah, just exaggerate specific features. And it's that sounds good to me. I gotta get these apom. Get him! Talker. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? There they go. Catch him. Oh, that didn't do anything. Hmm. Yeah, uh, one thing I want more of is, like, we have in this game, is more of uh, you being the main character of the story. That was the thing that really frustrated me about Alola, is that... <sighs> a a Sun and Shield, honestly, like... The stories weren't really about you, they were about other people, and then they would just kind of, like, at the end of a cutscene, kind of turn to you and be like, that was crazy, right? It's like... I wasn't involved in any of that. You guys literally didn't even need me here. Like, I I don't know. It's if, if I want a story like that, I can just read a book. If I'm playing a video game, it's like the only place where I can experience a story for myself, where I can be the main character. And if you don't give me that, like, let's even... That was a bad move. Inteleon has a cool design, don't get me wrong, but I feel like it was just a big Sobble and Seven Agent 007 ripoff. Yeah! I get, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I didn't really find that one that interesting, and I found Grookey's, like, um, Final Evolution kind of disappointing, too, because I got him because he's this cute little round guy, but then he ended up just being, like, big big ripped drummer dude and I'm like that's not what I signed up for that's not what I signed up for at all poisoned poisoned was not poisoned hmm, can I change which one I'm targeting yeah I mean, we all apes on the base level anyways. Oh, you can change it. Okay, cool. Well, I suppose we'll just keep going. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's like, that's, it's an interest. They're like not terrible ideas or terrible designs inherently. It just feels like, I don't know, when that's what you do with all three of your starters, it's like, you could do it with like one, maybe. Or like how uh, most of the fire starters have all been fire fighting. Like for like quite a while, it's like, we can do other stuff with it, guys. Like, why are you doing this? No, I know what you meant, yeah. Uh. And my goods are all safe, thank goodness. How can I repay you? Let me think. Hey, what's going into you looking so meek all of a sudden? You actually feeling remorseful? All oh, right, all right, no hard feelings. Just stop it with the sad look. You're making me feel bad. Just hope you've learned your lesson. No more pranks, please. Oh, pranked! Oh, come on! You couldn't even wait till I was done scolding you? Got pranked. 
Hey, hey. I took my pin at berries. I was taking those for later. Just because the show, you can't let your guard down around Pokemon. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've been ignoring all of the leaks for Gen 9 because, like, none of it's reliable, man. Like, no matter what, it's like, there's so many people who can, like, copy the style one-to-one -one that I'm like, I don't, I don't believe any of this is true. Quit wasting my time. Let's use that on Pikachu. What? Oh, okay. I thought I saw my Golbat could, uh, evolve. He can't evolve! What? I just evolved him into Golbat. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even get to hang out with him yet. Let's, let's save that for later. Is that on Pikachu? I'm kind of under level for this area. Should probably grind a little bit, but mm, I'll just get to the uh, the next uh, spot here. Next story bit. Oh, who's that? Oh, it's another glam meow. Whoa! Look at that lava. That's cool. I love stuff like that. That was something Breath of the Wild really excelled at, was just like seeing from a distance like, whoa, whoa, that looks cool. And then eventually you get to go on that thing. It's crazy. It's so fun. Why are we doing Stop it. Stop. Ah, ah, let me fight. Fight my guy. Youch! Uh oh, I am not in a good position for this. Actually, I'm gonna run. Yes. Uh, final evolution for Fue Coco could be real. Seems like it's based on a Spanish mythological creature. It's a fire fairy type. Ooh, I do like that. Yeah, we need more fairy type starters, dude. That'd be awesome. I'll just get this guy. Don't worry about me. Okay, we're just running. We're just running as fast as we can over here. Uh, what mythological creature is it? I'm not familiar with that one, I don't think. That sounds super cool. You know. It's, it's always a toss up with leaks and stuff, but you know. I do like, I do like when they take from actual mythology, you know? That's always super satisfying. Hello? What's up? Oh, oh, I see you Growlithe. Hush now, settle down. What's up? I'm Polina of the Pearl Clan, and who might you be? Ah, so you're that child from the galaxy team. I heard how you ate a cleavor and a little gant when none other could quell their frenzy. Your strength must be amazing, and yet you have such a gentle face. So it brings you to the Cobalt Coastlands. We have no lord here, much less a frenzied one for you to quell. Our previous lord was swallowed by the waves. He was rescuing his young pup that had been swept out to sea and ended up giving his life to ensure the pup's safe return. Who? If you were to guess, which of these growls would you say is the previous lord's child? The small one, because it's child size. Oh, you have quite a good eye. This quiet, skittish growlith is the child of the previous lord. Bow. I've no doubt this one has the potential to be a fine lord, but witnessing his father's demise has left deep scars in his heart. There are those who expect me to train him more strictly and force lordship upon him before he is ready, but I could never bring myself to do that. No matter what the rest of the Pearl Clan says, my mind is quite made up. I'll stay by this little one's side and let him live his life as he wishes. So now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? I'm here to help the heir. Ah, did Arita ask you to intervene, perhaps? 
I appreciate the kind gesture truly, but I'm afraid this matter simply does not concern you. It's not that you know our situation might ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands. I make for Fire Spit Island, I guess. A survey of Fire Spit Island? I see there are rumors the place is haunted by strange shadows these days. You'll need the aid of a Pokemon known as Basque Legion if you wish to cross the sea. You should speak to Iskan, a warden of the Diamond Clan. He should be able to help you. There is definitely something strange happening out on Fire Spit Island. Those shadowy figures are concerning, of course, but then there's also the odd lightning that came from that rift in the sky. Lightning is a sign that the heavens are angry. I worry that we may have offended Almighty Sinnoh somehow. In the past, the Pearl Clan and Diamond Clan were locked in conflict over which side revered the true Almighty Sinnoh. Even if we've reached an uneasy peace, the true Almighty Sinnoh must be angered because there are still those who worship a false image of it. Ah, but I do digress. I do apologize. Uh, you can't remember the name. An ad for an Airbnb. Weird. I didn't realize Airbnb still did ads. Iskan lives on A Palm Hill, just past Ginkgo Landing. I imagine you'll find him there. Wow. All right. Ah, oh, dip. I gotta go all the way back. Ooh. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We're at seven, so I'm gonna actually take a quick break before I do run through all that. So. Don't go anywhere. Don't touch that internet dial. I'll be our back with more Pokemon Legends Arceus in just a minute. Okay, okay.
Okay, I'm back. You know, you gotta stretch your legs and everything every now and then. Is there really no music on the pause screen? That's dumb. Like, you you think just because I'm not currently playing that I want to hear something? Ridiculous. Okay. Let's see if I can... Ah, pfft. Well, that didn't go great. Let's just run. Ugh. Yeah, I'm a little under-leveled for this area. I should probably do some grinding back in the Crimson Mire Lands, but... I don't really like that area. It's stinky. No thanks. I'll have to go back eventually, though, I'm sure. Everybody's coming right after Weird Ear. He's just hanging out. What's up? Why y'all gotta go after my deer? He's just doing his best. He's just doing his job. Riding. Although I guess he's kind of a ghost or something. I don't know. Also gotta find Vasco Legion, I guess. So that's gonna be cool. I'm most excited for um a particular riding Pokemon, but I'm not gonna spoil it because some people might not know, but just safe to say, it's pretty fun. Da, 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 da. What's up? Iskan. That's not Iskan. That's Volo. That's totally Volo. What is this? Why, hello there, Miss Iggy. Fancy running into you out here. Me? Oh, I'm on the hunt for some plates. How's your plate hunting going, young friend? Uh, so so, I guess. No need to be humble. I see you've already got your hands on four plates. You gain plates when you quell frenzied nobles, and when a great Pokemon recognizes you as worthy of bearing, isn't that right? The way you've been collecting those plates, it reminds me of the ancient hero, the one that's said to have battled against mighty, almighty Sinnoh. You know, I've been wondering. The ten Pokemon that are said to have followed the ancient hero, their powers are supposed to have come from almighty Sinnoh itself. Why would they seek to challenge Almighty Sinnoh along with the hero, then? Perhaps we'll get some answers once we gather all the plates? Well, let's both do our best to find more. But please, don't overexert yourself. I'd hate for something to happen to one of our guild's loyal customers. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Hello? This is a nice tent. Dope. Do I have a visitor? I'll be right out. Give me a moment. Oh, wait. Wait a second. So, um... I'm a Scan of, of the Diamond Clan. A Galaxy Team member with the Celestica Flute. Oh, you must be Iggy, right? H have I done something to warrant your visit? Yes. Yes, you have. Well, some visits give me quite shock. I do hope you'll give me advance notice of the future. So, um, why, why are you here? I need Basque Legion's aid. So you, you want to go to Fire Spit Island? Well, if you insist, you probably need Basque Legion's favorite snack. That should help him warm up to you. But preparing his favorite, oh, it's um, more than a little difficult. More like an impossibly high hurdle. Or really, just impossible, if I'm being honest. How so? I'll tell you, I have the right materials, but... But then you... Well, you see this next part is something I could never manage, but... You need to catch this one Pokemon that appears at night. Which Pokemon? Which one? You, you really want to know? You, you really don't value your own life, do you? It's... D... D... Dust... Dust Clops! Oh, even saying his name fills me with dread. So the materials for food has to be imbued with flavor by Dusclops' dark pulse. It's the only way you can make Basque Legion's favorite food, you see? Got it. Wow, is everyone in the galaxy team like you? Your nerves aren't just steel, they're titanium. It's positively frightening how um, fearless you are. The dust... Uh, I can't say it. Well, the Pokemon I need has only one eye and can be found wandering around Deadwood Haunt. 
Uh, Deadwood Han is the area that looks like a hand on your map. You'll know you're there when you find the wrecked boats. That's spooky. I, I try very hard to avoid those one-eyed Pokemon. And so now I know a lot about them, you see? Hmm, okay. Does it? Ooh, it does look like a big spooky hand. Ooh, that's cool. What's this? Ooh, space time is growing unstable. Oh, uh, yeah, let's hop over there to grab that request real quick, since it looks like it's on our way. Let's just swing right through with we're there. We are there! We are not. We are Pokemon in training. Honestly, where did he get off to? Excuse me, have you seen a year fellow from the construction corps named Yorick? No, I haven't. God, this is hopeless. Where could he have gone? Would you mind helping me track him down? We wing a little further ahead. Please come see me when you have a moment. Sure. Speak with the gully to learn more about her request. Perhaps I will sometime. Perhaps I will. There's a will of the wisp. Touch. Nice. Is that a side duck? Or a gold duck? Get out of the water, get out of the water. Okay. We've got no stamina. Can't survive long in the water. Or drown. Going to give me is that that's not dust clops, is it? No, that one's dust clops. That fella right there. We'll get him with a heavy ball. Get him with a heavy ball. Oh. Oh, wasted me heavy ball. I squat all right. Get him with this. Oh, he's level 37. I'm actually going to run away because I need to level a bit better before I can do this. In fact, I'm going to panic and weird the right out of here. Good lord. It's very difficult. This region is quite hard. Alright, we're going to go level our team. Shouldn't hopefully take too long. But we'll find out. To run extra far to get where we're going. Hold on, let me delete this pin. Let me actually turn on uh, the the request for the camp. That's yes. Oh, that's quite a ways away. So yeah, we're going to go back to the Crimson Mirelands to level a bit more. Actually, I see a Rabombi right there. I need to get me one of him. I love these guys. Little fellas. Get out of here. Get out of here, you're ruining my stealth. Alright. I'll run away, I'll run away. Let me go. Stole some of your honey. What are you gonna do about it? Can I fast travel? Yes, thank you. No, oh, I got water all over my chest. No, crack. All right, all right, all right. <sighs> I guess somebody feels. This feels for real. Oh, what do I get? Not that much. That's alright. 
We're past the notch, which is pretty good, but yeah, we're gonna return to the village, and then we're gonna swing back out to the Crimson Mire Lands to, uh, grind for a bit. I gotta get a crow gunk as well, so let's, let's do that. Uh, yeah. Crimson Moirelands. Uh, Bogbound Camp would be better, I think. I'm not certain. We'll see. Uh, how do my Pokemon look? They're all healthy. Hey, thanks for the follow, Estelaveda55. I don't know why. My alerts don't show up. I'll have to figure that out at some point, but yeah, for the there's supposed to be over there, like between the, the, the Twitter and the YouTube logo, there should be um a little thing that pops up whenever someone follows. Like you can hear the noise that it makes, the alert, but Yeah, it just doesn't I for some reason it won't actually uh Pop up the visual. But yeah, thanks anyways. Apologies that it's uh, not being super cooperative. Hey, Pikachu leveled up. I gotta find a, a female Hippopotas as well. So let's uh, keep looking. Hey, you. Nope. Well, let's let's get him. We're here to level, baby. And thunder shock. And yeah, let's let's see with a great ball actually. Why not? Probably because it's more expensive and all that, but I don't even care. I got Buddy to burn. Nice. I caught Crow Gunk. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Let's see this other Pokeball. Or why am I avoiding? I'm trying to. Trying to level guys up, and I'm keep trying to avoiding them like a doofus. Yeah, get him, get him, hex him, or hex her. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, let's hex. Gotcha. Gotcha, boy. Uh, let's level one of the lower level ones. Ooh, Golbat. Golbat could really use some leveling. <laughs> Alright, so let's hit him with an air cutter. Crachow. Come at me, bro. Come at me, scrub lord, I'm ripped! Yeah, ta ta. Yeah, ta ta. Well, I haven't even gone around to it yet, but that's the move I'll be using. Air ta ta. Nice, good work, good work. Ooh, and then we can get some apricorns and a fight. Let's do it. A startle burmy. Ooh, that's a different style that I've seen. Let's, uh, let's actually try and catch this one, I think. Full health, don't even give a toot. I can do it. 
I'm cool. There you go. Get him. Oh, did he escape? Let me try that again. Ah, dip. I missed. I like how one. So that's something. Fine, fight me. Fight me, boy. Fight me, girl. Yanma. More like Yanma one half. Cause I'm about to air cut you in half. Slice. I done did it. There it was, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all ready to see uh, some action going on, because there it was, there it is. Let me get rid of this pin. I already did that a while ago. Ooh. These guys, a little spooky. Let's go. Hey, I'm doing pretty good. We're into hour four, the fourth hour of uh, the stream. And yeah, I had a pretty good day. Went to see the new Doctor Strange, which was great. And uh, yeah, just been playing some Pokemon, warmed up with a little Mario Kart. I'm gonna get through that Grand Prix someday. How are you doing? Thanks for the follow once again. I appreciate it a lot. Hope you're having a pretty good day, too. Whoa, he's so jiggly. Get him. Air cutter. Defeat tank. Whoop. Yeah, we're kind of grinding right now, but, you know, sometimes you gotta. Nice. That sounds pretty neat. I mean, on a Saturday, you know, probably be better to have the day off, but if you enjoy the work you do, uh, what kind of work do you do? I'm guessing some kind of freelance stuff, right? I don't know. The total guess. Man, this is like so easy to pick off. It's like eating popcorn. Got him. Okay, affiliated with the company. What, I mean, you don't necessarily need to say the company if you don't want to, but like what, uh, what kind of work do you do for them? Is it custom graphics and 2D, 3D animations? Ooh, nice. That's pretty cool. Do you do any like, just like animation or uh, graphic stuff just for fun? Like, uh, did you have like a YouTube where you po post any kind of animations? I'm always down to see a new animator. Nice. Eh, eh, eh. Post your work on Twitter. Cool. What is is your Twitter just also Estella Veda fifty five? I do have a Twitter. Uh, if you look on screen there, you can see it is at Iggy D Kid. Um, hopefully that's visible. Let me know if that's kind of hard to to read. No, no. <laughs> uh oh, this is bad. Um. But yeah, there's also uh, down below on the browser version, there's a panel that links you to my Twitter and 
has a uh, has a little timeline of some of the recent things I've posted there. Yeah. Um, if you want, I also have a Discord a panel down there to join my Discord that has uh, you know places where you can post any artwork or whatever that you do. Feel free to post up whatever promotional stuff you want in there if you join. Um, I should set up a chat command to uh, let people know how to join the Twitter. I keep forgetting, or the Discord. I always forget that. I'll do that after the stream. We'll have to make a note of it. Um, yeah, actually, I'll write that down right now. Uh, set up. Discord command. Put some stars around it. So I know it is important. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll totally do that after the stream. I can't really open it up on stream the way I have things set up, but I certainly will. Um,. Then, yeah, I didn't realize that. I thought I had my DMs just open. Hmm. Okay, it's probably just like a, fo a follow thing, but whatever. I'll get that figured out later, too. I won. All right, um. I should heal up my guy. Yeah, let's let's use a super potion. Thanks. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Appreciate everybody who's tuned in. This has been a pretty pretty active chat. Um yeah, compared to a lot of streams I've done. This is as you get like as you stream things sort of progress a little more, you know. And I've had some dips in there where, like, I didn't stream for a while because I was too busy or I, I was sick for a while and it, like, kind of dropped back, but whatever. I, I appreciate everybody who shows up and watches I'm doing this to entertain, you know? So, as long as someone's there enjoying enjoying the stream, then I am quite happy. Gotta get some of you. I gotta get the full Pokedex for Rosalia. Let's actually... Hmm... Let's try, let's try just a cold Pokeball. Don't need to warm you up for this one. Yeah. Caught. Then uh, I'll do the same for the one. Oh, I think they might have run away. That's fine. Yeah, I want to get up into like the higher high thirties, I think. Um, before I head back, so let's 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 do our best with that. I don't want to spend too much time grinding because it's pretty pretty low intrigue content. I don't know. Maybe y'all would like it. I guess. I know me personally. I prefer to see like more of the story or whatever, but. Everybody has different wants and whatever with streams, and um, different games lend themselves to different types of content, really, when you think about it. Gust. Yep. Alright, no. as much stuff as I stick can. I don't think I've caught a Psyduck yet. Let's see if we can get this guy. Just throw a great ball out. Alright. Psyduck. Hot. I wonder if I could just sneak up. Nope. Ah, dip. I lost my Pokeball. That's all right. Hey, get back here. Get back here. You ain't going to run away from me. No, sir, not today. Down. 
I think the larger thing is that if I'm going through the story, it almost doesn't even feel like effort, you know? The time just whips by, but if, I, uh, if I'm sitting here grinding, it feels so slow. Nice. All right, let's see if we can craft some more uh, pokeballs. Let's craft as many of these as we can. Oh, I'm low on tumblestone. I never think to pick any up. All right. Well, let's pick up. Let's go perusing. Perusing for a perusing. I don't want to fight the doof, but I gotta fight to kick the grinding to the levels. I'm sorry, buddy. You were just too convenient to pass up. Mm, stop. Stop. Oh, geez, you're actually pretty hefty there, eh? Still got you. Gonna check some things here. Real quick. Okay. Make sure everything is caught up. Okay. Let me heal up my gold bat. No, no, that's the incorrect one. There it is. Okay, I think I'll switch to my Shellos now, because now he's the lowest level. Yeah, I need to pick up some Tumblestone. What? Get him! Get him! The poison powder is just like a sneeze in this one. That is very silly. Even with the ancient power. Gagosh. More than too much. Stop it. Got him. Nice. Oh, media level up. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I can get around. Probably want to go back and drop some stuff off at some point soon, but I'll do what I can here. Right, let's get that alpha. Let's get that alpha. Pachirizu is level 40. I should not have come here. Let's run. Yikes. Was not expecting that. Any plain tumble stones? So that's not going to be helpful. Ah, oh, dear. Hip up plant. Whoa! No, 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 get out of here. I didn't ask for you. Nope. Hit me with the Bidoof. Fight me. Fight me! Oh no, oh no. That's pretty strong. We're gonna switch out to Daltrix. Dartrix, a wonderful boy. And him with another leafage. Got him. I guess they're not the doof, they are the Bibarel. That's a Bidoof. Get him. 
He goes, please. Oh, I almost feel bad. Almost. I don't even care. Take him down. Look at the damage he's doing. So rude. So rude. Take him out. Take him out. I'm outy. Let's go to Pikachu. I think it's you. It's Pikachu. It can do good. Punch that Badoo. Whoops. Took a minute to actually look at what was strong. Oh well. Oh well. Thunder Wave. Paralyzed. Don't sneeze on me. I don't like it. Uh, let's go for the cat. That's pretty good. No, don't do that. No, don't do that, please. Please, I don't like that. No, thank you. Hmm. Oh. Let's head back. I think it's about time. Gotta drop off some stuff. Oh, am I? Just targeting me. Get out of here. Give me to the sludge mound. Oh my god, let me out. Go away! Back off. There we go. Thank you. Goodness gracious. Okay. Mm. Oh. Someone's got a request. We want. Say, you there. Could you lend me a hand? I was on my way here from the Mirelands camp when this awful hippo don came after me. I got away, but I dropped a charm I was carrying. And now I can't find it anywhere. I've just got to have it back. I found a charm lying in a swamp. Could you bring it back to me? Sure. I dropped, uh, I want to say a red leather purse. Just really could use my cigarettes. Just a little while. Just a poquito rest. Oh, can I like, oh, I can drop stuff off. Sweet. Let's drop off some of this stuff I don't need. Iron chunk. Uh, yeah, I don't need that or that or that. Nope, nope, nope. Put all these away. I don't need them. Nope, move, move it all. I run, chunk. Correct. You, you're getting it. You're finally getting it. Um, do I have any tumble stone in here? Could really use some. No, I'm gonna have to go farm some tumble stone. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's drop some stuff off with Leventin real quick. Why are you happy, so soy soya bees? So soya bee? Soya bee? I can't well, something about the, the Twitch font for uh usernames really hard to read. It's been crushing your mind what what's been crushing your mind? Yeah. All right. 
uh, continue my excursion. Just wanna, I just wanna get some more tumble stone for right now. Yeah, it's also that like my computer is like way over there, and the chat is like a tiny little window on that screen, so it's. You know, not super convenient, but still way more convenient than having to have it on my phone screen or something. The correct, the correct pronunciation. Iron. Iron. Iron chunk. How, what, what's the pronunciation you usually hear? Because yeah, it can be iron. It can be iron. It can be iron. Which is more of like an iron, like one syllable situation. It's, it's a regional thing, you know? It's one of those words that just like everybody says a little different. Oh, well, let's go for it. Yeah, here. Geodude. Uh oh. Oh, ooh. The outlines are not doing great here. Oh, jeez, I got so many guys ganging up on me. We're gonna have to switch to Shalos. Got the water type moves. I don't know. I think I would actually say iron most times, but if I'm like over pronouncing it, I'll be like iron. Iron chunk. Whoa, gentle. Shellos' little baby. You call it iron? What? Yo, hold on. So, this is something that comes up a lot in my work because I'm a voice actor. Uh, pronunciation guides, when written, can be kind of difficult. So here's the easiest way to do it, is break it up into syllables, and then uh, say a word, but then say, but like, Include a word as example for what it would, like, rhyme with, basically. Um, like, if I were to create one for I earn, I would probably say, like, I like your I. And then earn rhymes with burn. And that way it's pretty clear, you know? Because it's mostly the vowel sounds you're trying to work out, you know? Uh... Why did you kill my baby boy? I will avenge him. Uh, I mean, yeah. I, I do, like... On average, like, 50 ads a week. Mostly for, like, Spotify or local hiring ads. And then, uh... I've done a few like character bits not as many as I'd like to for sure unfortunately I haven't done anything for television or video games or anything yet but you know it's a little harder to get that when you're not like in LA or uh, New York one day maybe some internet stuff thanks yeah I've been working very hard at it for like a decade I just, I never want to go and do online auditions for fan works or anything, because I know most people who end up doing, like, actual television cartoons, they they start off by doing, like, fan works online, but it's just, it's so much work, and my experience pretty much every time with uh, fan works is it'll be someone who's really enthusiastic really really like does believe in their work right but it's like they had a cool idea and they got super ahead of themselves started writing and they're like yeah this is gonna be super cool and then immediately ran to a website and started looking for voice actors before they've gotten even close to finishing writing it and 99% of the time that when they cast the voice actors and they get everybody hyped up they'll continue writing it and realize that writing it is more work than they realized, and their excitement doesn't 
get them through it and it just never gets finished. And it's like, I get it. It's out of a place of like ambition and like excitement and they just, they want to do a cool thing. And I would totally love to help them out with that, but I'm just too old now to keep wasting my time with projects that don't get finished, you know? Like if I'm going to be involved, my rule now is like, if I'm going to be involved, I need to see a full script, like a finished script before I come on. And if I don't see any like progress with the production within like the first month that I'm part of it, like if like, that's the thing is like for a while it was like, if, it, if I was on there for a month, and they didn't have anything for me to do, I'm just gonna bail. Cause you're just wasting my time. I'm not gonna, like you shouldn't have hired me yet. That's pretty much it. Oh, you're not like a request guy. That's it. Well, the, yeah, that's the thing is that they're not professionals. That's really what it boils down to is that that wouldn't happen in professional production because that would lose them money, but because these are fan productions and they really, the only thing that they're staking is basically their pride. They're not putting any money into it in a lot of cases. Then like they're, they don't feel that pressure to actually get things done and do things correctly. And like, yeah, it's like from a place of passion. I get it. I've, I've When I was like way younger, I did that once and I felt so horrible about it. But like, I just don't have time for it, man. I just, I, I need to actually see a script or I'm just not gonna bother. I need to see a script or like, it should be clear in your audition that you have a, a good handle on what the characters are. So many times I'll see auditions where um, what they, they don't have lines for you. They'll just be like, improvise something you think the character would say. And it's like, I don't know the character. I'm literally auditioning for them right now. like. Improv is good if I have some material to go off of, but if you literally, all you can give me is a picture, or sometimes not even a picture, just like a description, then what What do you want me to do with that? I can't do anything with that. It's, it's frustrating, man. I'd love, I'd love to be a part of some of these fan projects. And the worst part is the ones that look the most fun, that look like, that look like they're actually gonna be completed, I just never get those roles. I only ever end up getting roles on the ones that never get finished. I've, I've got, been a part of like 12 different projects at least that had huge ambitions, super passionate, really wanted to do it, just never got finished. And it's frustrating because I can't, literally, I gave them my time and I can't even put it on a resume because it's not a finished work. It's, it's... <sighs> but whatever, whatever. I should just do my own fan projects, basically. But the thing is, if I do my own fan projects, um, I want to pay people. So I want to get an actual budget together. I'm not just going to be like, just get, like, you know, lend me some of your time. It's like, no, I'm going to actually pay people for their time. Maybe not, like, not union rates or anything, but I will give them some level of compensation. But I will make sure that, you know, I don't cast people until the project is actually ready to be recorded. Like, if you don't have a script, it's not a project yet. You gotta, you gotta have a script before you cast people, because otherwise they're just gonna be sitting around doing nothing, and then the Discord will just, like, pilfer away. Continue my excursion. Yeah, I it's I just can't keep getting getting cast and stuff and then just like checking a Discord every day or two to see them be saying, you know, we're going to get started soon and then it just gets more further and further apart and then eventually I never hear from them. They just drop away from the face of the earth. Have a bubble. Too many times, too many times. I don't know. And it's also like even just doing the audition is like a lot of work. Just keeping the files organized and uploading them and everything. Like it's going to take me like, you know, for a lot of projects, it's going to take me like a half hour 
at least to like record everything, edit it down, you know, label, organize, and like upload it. That's so much time, man. So even if I wanted to do a bunch of auditions in a day, I could only feasibly do like, I don't know, like 10 maybe, if that was all I focused on, on projects that don't even pay. I just, I, I don't know, that's the acting game, I guess. That's the modern acting game. All right, let's take on some spadoofs. Let's grind them away. Uh, level 11, I'm just gonna run away. Level 11 isn't even worth it. Some other time. Uh, what about these guys? What level are you? What level are you? Level 30, really? Wow, much higher than I expected. Let's take him out, Aerial Ace! Destroy them! Alright. Let's do it. Aerial Ace! Whoa! Okay. Wow! That was, uh... Much stronger than I expected. Same with the Thunder Shock. Alright. Yeah, we're just gonna revive Tartrix up because I just left the camp. Uh, we'll just use a super potion. I got plenty of them. And... I don't really want to fight Geodudes. Uh, let's see what's in here. Probably a Burmy? Yeah. Let's get him. Uh, no! No, not Geodude! I'm specifically avoiding you. And if you really want to get involved. Uh, well, I can hit you with leafage, I guess. Oh, I didn't realize Geodude was weak to leafage. I thought they were just weak to, like, water-type moves and such. And, uh, fighting moves. Yo, fighting, I feel like fighting, ground, and uh, rock are all a little too close, you know? Like, there's so much that could easily overlap between them. Oh, well, you wanted to join the party too? Okay. I'm gonna hit you with the leaf edge. Bam. Just cranking through him. Higher defense. Okay. Cliff edge. Yes. Stuff is too high. That's fine. I'll get him in this one. Nice. Anybody else want to go? Come at me. Let me scribbler it, I'm ripped! And with the leaf. Don't forget about bug. What about bug? Wait, is rock weak to bug? I did not know that. Ah. I don't really... I don't really get how that works, but nice. Keep that in mind. Wow, Rock has more weaknesses than I thought. No. Okay, no, no, no. Never mind, I guess. Was What about Bug, then? Huh? 
Teddy Ursa. Bugs are weak to rock. Right. Uh, hit him with the leafage. Mm, no. Uh, another one. Yeah, isn't Bug, like, overall the weakest, uh, the weakest type or something? Hence why they're usually in the, the early parts of the games. I'm gonna beat up a child just because I can. Slap him in the head and the pan. Get him a pan that he can slap. Take him out. Take him out! Thank you. No, oh, thank you. Maybe I should go and take on some crimes in the uh, this opening area. I feel like they'd probably be low enough level, right? Ah. Just doing a little crying. Just, uh, just a little crying. I haven't been doing a lot of coffee lately. You know, I'll swing by Duncan every now and then, but I used to have like a cup of coffee every morning. Can't do it anymore, it's too much. It's just a wee bit too much. Whoa, 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 whoa. You see him going ham and low frame rate over there? Got a mark of that for sure. And uh, we got some Yanmas up here, so I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them. Get them. Ooh, that's a pretty high level one. Oh, no, Dartrex. Oh, God, that's a brutal attack. Let's hit him with. Shellos. Ancient power. Do not harm my guy. Shallow snow. Ancient power. All right. Let's uh. Let's. Well, let's take on another guy here. Let's take on this guy, and then I think I'm gonna. I think I'll call it a night, raid right over to someone else. Some fun streams going on that I saw, so I will send you all over to one of those. Uh, probably gonna heal up, too, so. Yeah. It'll be a minute here. Put another Temple Stone while I'm at it. Oh, there's another Yanma. Well, at least not one. Not. Only take a minute. That. Hit him with the ancient power. Hit him with the ancient power. Got him with the ancient power. Take out the ancient power. Swing back to Bogbound Camp. And we're gonna. Uh. Well, let's just heal up and then save. I could use a rest. Just a little while. Alright. Yeah, let's save up. Nice. Alright. That'll do it for tonight. We're going to raid over to someone, so don't head out quite yet, but let's do our usual... Oop, let's do the uh, outro real quick. Thank you guys very much for watching. Um...
you know, follow and subscribe. If you haven't, check out the Discord down below. I'm going to set up a way to link to that soon. Um, right after the stream, really. Uh, and, yeah, check out my Twitter, my YouTube, my archive YouTube. All of that stuff is linked down below. Go check that out. And, yeah, I will be streaming Mondays, Fridays, and Saturdays from now on. So, hope to see you all on Monday. That's a wild card, so it might... It's not going to be RCS, but it'll be something fun. So come check it out on Monday. Hope to see you all there. And hey, if no one else has told you this, I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let's see who we have to rate over to. One moment here. Uh, it's going to be a hard question because we got two pretty good. Um, got two pretty good streams I could send you all to. Hmm... Let's go with Loco and the Skeleton. I haven't rated to them in a while. Did watch one of their streams recently. I'll turn that down so I can get through the ad. Whoop. Yeah, let's raid Loco and the Skeleton. All right. Let them know I sent you. Have a great rest of your weekend great rest of your night i'll see y'all on monday okay goodbye goodbye goodbye